So I definitely don't think that... I don't know. Um, maybe I misinterpreted what you meant in the first place. But I think that um, the way you were putting it immediately, it kind of sounded like there was something... You, it kind of sounded like you thought maybe there was something stronger about the way you know that somebody else is in pain than the way you no, know your own pain. No, it's literally weaker. Like, knowing is weaker than having. Yeah, 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 okay. That's right, then, yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, do you know that you see a certain color when you see it through your eyes? Um, I think that saying, saying, I think saying that you know it is almost, like, a little bit disrespectful, you know? It's like, I don't know. I, the way I think of it is knowing it is to be able to put it to words. So, you, you don't need to put your own pain to words. Except in the, into explaining explaining it to other people. Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's a pretty good point. That's a pretty good point, right? Um, mm -hmm. I think that there is a big difference there that I didn't catch on to before. Um, and it's funny because uh, this is something that I think uh, this is something I think that he talks about in the text quite a bit. Um, I don't really feel like I. I almost don't really feel like when you were talking about that, I gained like an amount of understanding that could really be like translated into more words. I just understood the words better. Oh, uh, yeah, Discord kind of talked out on me there, too. Um, yes, it is. Okay, so what do you guys think Wittgenstein... Uh, okay, so there's this part that I got a little confused on. Um, what do you think he'd have to say about solitaire? Uh, I'm looking at it around, like, 205 or 204. Um, what? I'm not ignoring you. I just need to uh, read through that again. Yeah. I can't, like, read and talk at the same time because I'm on my phone, so that's fair. making it a little difficult. Yeah, what about, like, Conway's Game of Life, or whatever that's called? Yeah, Which yeah, yeah. To... Um, there, there are also games that only depend on the initial conditions, and aren't really games. Yeah. Alrighty. What does uh, Conway have to do with this, though? I'm glad I uh, read that. Nice. Because um, he does yeah. end on a little bit of a banger there, you're right. Um, about the... Uh... The fact of like what it is um, to, to like be a thinking thing, I guess. I don't know how else to talk about it. Uh, anyways, did I interrupt some big brain realization? Um, I don't know. I'm still in the process of trying to create the big brain realization. Um, I see. So he spends some time talking about. Um, in 204, he says, 
As things are, I can, for example, invent a game that is never played by anyone. But would the following be possible, too? Mankind has never played any games. Once, however, someone invented a game which no one ever played. And... So, I don't know. Um, in my head, I'm just thinking what... I feel like I'm doing the same fundamental thing. I feel like I'm doing the same fundamental thing when I play a game of solitaire as when I play a game of chess. But I'm not really sure how to interpret that through all the stuff that Wittgenstein provides. Wait, wait, what's your issue with this? Fucking... I'm, 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 I had a question... And I'm looking here for the answer, and I'm not sure I'm able to find it. What's the question? The, the, the fundamental question is, um, what is the role that single... What is the role that games with one player play? Well, I think the whole point is, like, it's not that... It's about a game that can't be taught to another person. It's, it, it's not about... Yeah. Um, whether anybody else actually played. I think the uh, argument here is that uh, by saying there's no such thing as a game that cannot be taught to another person, like a, uh, by saying there's no such thing as a private game and then saying that language is a game, you can now say that there's no private languages. Oh, Hate's here, and Roots too. Mm. Did you guys do the uh, reading? No. I nice. don't think so. <laughs> what about hate? Why is he muted? Is he Nothing. recording? Uh, I think he is. I think you mentioned something about that. Oh, okay. Right. Well, I have, I have the recording too. I guess. Ugh, and I have to sit in my chair, which I don't want to sit in. But that's okay. Um. Well, do you guys think that, like, do you? What do you? What do you? How do you guys feel about a private language? Um. You think it can exist? I guess we should explain for those. Um, what a private language is. Um, does somebody else want to do that? <laughs> Not me right now, please. <laughs> Anybody? Isn't it basically a language that can only be understood by one person? Uh... And by, well, and by understood, I don't mean like at any given moment. I mean that it can only be understood by a single individual. Yes. Yes, because he was saying how, um, like, when they're talking about the language you could create based on, like, whenever you had the feeling S, and, like, how it was just completely unreliable. Um, okay, let me see if I can find. Hmm. Basically, he's saying that it's not possible to have a private language. Anybody have any hot takes on that? Nope. Well, to bring it back I mean, to um, the solitaire question, I think I think if you can't have a private language, you know, a, a language, you can't have a private game, a game only played by one person. So um, solitaire wouldn't be means. a game. That's not what it means. It's saying multiple people understand how to play solitaire. Solitaire is by no means a private game. And let me, I'll but wait, multiple section. people don't need to understand like you could have a game that only one person knows how to play. No, but that but that doesn't mean that, that that's the only person that can understand it. You if you were that? if the person who understood the game were to explain it to someone else, then multiple people would be able to explain it. Sure. But it's just saying, like if you have a language like, that only no, you know yeah. how to speak, you could explain it to someone else. But that's not a private that's not what private that's, language exactly. means. Private language is not a language that only one person knows. It's a language that only one person can ever know. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, I just jumped in in the middle of that, so I was a little... No, that's all good. It's all good. Um, Has anyone read Calvin and Hobbes, like, as a kid? I mean, obviously. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I've only read Calvin Cal and Hobbes as an adult. Yeah. Oh. But, but Calvin <laughs> yeah, I, Ball... Yeah. Calvin Ball would be a private game. What's Calvin would Ball? It? Uh, it doesn't really have defined rules. 
Yes, it's a, a game that Calvin and Hobbes play together, and the joke is that every time they play it, it has, like, it's, they have, like, all these different rules, and every strip is different. Okay. So the thing, though, is that it's not, a, it's not a game because it doesn't have any rules. That's the thing. Well, it'd kind of be like football in 17776. Let me read a let me read a passage for you guys. But I've actually I've actually read it in a previous previous meeting, but I don't even know if anybody who was here now was there for that meeting. Good question. Big, All sad. Right. Big sad. But okay, so it's Big actually sad. it's not section eighty three. He's talking about language and games. Doesn't the analogy between language and games throw light here? You can easily imagine people amusing themselves in a field by playing with a ball like this starting various existing games, but playing several without finishing them, and in between, throwing the ball aimlessly into the air, chasing one another with the ball, throwing it at one another for a joke, and so on. And now someone says, the whole time they are playing a ball game, and therefore are following definite rules at every throw. Now his point here is a little different, because he's saying that, I think he's talking about something else. Oh, wait, let me finish reading the section, actually, there's more on the next page. Um... He says, and is there not also the case where we play and make up the rules as we go along and even where we alter them as we go along? Um, so I Yeah, think this is exactly the section that I thought of when somebody brought this up, honestly, but I didn't remember where to find it. Yeah. I don't know how I found it so quickly myself, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, um, so. But I think, like, the thing is, it's still a game, even if the rules aren't super clear. I mean, because it's an interaction between two people, right? Hmm. Like, um, and that's that's all. That Which happens. makes the Calvin Ball thing really apt, because it's technically two people, but it's also technically one person. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, oh, 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 Calvin and Hobbes. Well, yeah, because... I mean, if we're going to extrapolate the whole idea of language games, like, the idea that Hobbes is real, that could be sort of a language game in and of itself, too. It's certainly some kind of game. And the language game of Hobbes existing facilitates the further language game of Hobbes Hobbes being a figment of a mentally ill boy. Uh (laughs) Uh, I I, I think we should definitely definitely take a second to distinguish between a language game and just a game, I, yes. mean, I feel like you're, I feel like you're talking about just games here, you know. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, I also think too, like the point is not that like a game has to have really strict fixed rules. It's just that there has to be some kind of agreement between the people playing. You know, it could be really flexible. It could be you know changing from time to time. But as long as there's um, understanding. Yeah. Well, because otherwise um, the concept wouldn't apply to language. Right? Yeah. Yes. Right? Because yeah, language because doesn't language have just... definite, specific, strict rules that apply everywhere, yeah. right? It's got a lot of rules that vary and change depending on the circumstance. Yes. yes so exactly. So that definition of a game wouldn't fit language game any better than any other type of game. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think also the part of the point is, like, rules, like, I mean, we think of rules as, like, these really strict things, but, like, it's kind of... I mean, he just points out how it's strange. Like, oh, my goodness. These are guidelines, anyway. Yes, he's critiquing the uh, problems with the uh, standard definitions of games, such as the idea that games have to be play rules or, like, competition or whatever. He's saying in some of those earlier sections that this definition is quite silly. Well, and then also, too, um, and this was, I think, a lot of what was the last reading was, but I think he touches on it here, talking about what understanding is and um, what that means. Like, what does it mean to feel like you understand a rule or understand um, understand something in general? Um, yeah. And how, I mean, there is a feeling of understanding, but, like, it doesn't always match up with what we call actual understanding, which is maybe arguably more important. Um, which isn't, you know, knowing, I think I like posted some quotes from this earlier today, which isn't just inherently knowing that, um, like every single, like for instance, in the equation, um, you know, uh, or like the series, he was talking about a series of like, um, two N plus one, like, like 
putting out the numbers in that series, like when you know understand it, it's not that you know every single number in the series. It's that um, you can successfully um, determine any you number can, in the series. Yeah, well, you you can do it in a way that like anybody else, like would ag- everybody else will agree with you that you applied it correctly. Um, hmm. And it was funny. I mean, I don't know. This is kind of silly, but it just reminded me of like that. Because I actually posted this in the discussion, but it's lost now. I literally wrote a little note. It reminds me of that meme where it's like, oh, so you're a mathematician? Name every number. (laughs) 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 Um, Yeah, it's a good meme. Yeah. Um, So so like the point being that like it's what's most important is that everybody is just agreeing or seems to like agree with each other. It's like, um, it is just about about that that interaction. I don't know. It's interesting because I fucks with math pretty hard, and um, I don't know. I, I I feel I feel very strongly like there's a distinct difference between like, like there's a distinct difference between when I do understand a pattern and when I don't. But he really he really fucked with me here. Uh, Ed H says, so understanding would mean having a cap- the capability to explain the process to another person? Mm-hmm. That seems like a decent... That seems like a reasonable right? statement, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. The thing is, I don't know if he says that. Hmm. Right, if that's what uh, Wittgenstein means, yeah. Yeah. Hey, where is he typing? Uh, general. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, oh yeah. For the record, probably probably moved to uh, to voice text. Voice uh, text. Yes. 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 Uh, uh. Yeah. Because that's. By the way, Eddie, welcome. I'm glad you came. Yeah. Even though oh, yeah, you're I think, muted, I think you might as well fucking yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is, is that new? <laughs> don't be uh, shy. Yeah. He was, uh, I guess I don't know their gender, but I found them in the Jagoria and the philosophy channels, and I mm. said something about Wittgenstein, and they were like, something, something Wittgenstein in response. And, some, and I was like, oh <laughs> something, God, something Wittgenstein in response. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> the mating call know. of the philosopher. <laughs> yeah, and I got really excited, so then. Oh, that's the one who understands Wittgenstein. Oh my! I mean, Wittgenstein. Ah, yes, something, something. Uh, Wittgenstein. I am actually gonna leave for a bit because I gotta. I'm gonna make food and stuff. Uh, and yeah, I gotta get ready. Uh, I gotta, for I gotta get ready for my stream. Yes. Yeah. Oh wow! I'm looking forward to that. I'll probably. I'll probably. It's gonna be Why a chill stream. I'm not gonna. I might. I might talk some politics or something. But I'm gonna be playing more so hammer. You politics. I don't know. No. I, 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 I mean, okay, hold on. Before before we get all the no, philosophy no, 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 no. nerds, Excuse me. you're muted. Oh, I can't mute you. Oh, Fuck. Um, Trey's trying to steal yeah. it. Actually, he's muted. <laughs> 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 just, just so everybody knows, just so everybody knows, um, reading club goes until five p.m. at the very least. So it kind of um, does most of the time. Yeah. So so yeah. honestly, uh, uh, Tree, I'm very sorry, but um, you should just wait an hour to start your stream. And you don't. You can leave. It's fine because you didn't even do the reading, so none of us care. I did not. <laughs> Man, what a little bitch! He didn't even uh, do the reading. Sorry, like, but you're everyone just, else yeah. here has definitely done all the reading, right, guys? Right? Yeah, I did yeah, do bro. the reading. I did do all the 100%, reading. This time. Bro. Hey, wait! Actually, actually, wait. did anybody not do the reading? You just come in here to uh, watch, watch my stream. In the just came in, plugged his stream, and left, dude. Yeah, basically. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I probably will oh. be watching his stream in the background because. Okay, for real, I didn't do the reading. I, d- I read uh, the what you call it, the secondary um, shit. I didn't. I read Shun. like. You read the spark like notes. twenty sections yesterday, but. Man, just like text to speech the uh, the book at like two times speed. Duh. I mean, that's a good point. It actually is what I do. It's it's pretty it's pretty effective, honestly. I could not understand something if I was just listening to it. That's yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I feel as well. I have to read it 
I usually go over really it un- twice. To really get it. Um, and that okay, still so, takes less time than reading it. And so so I, find it, I find this really interesting regarding the math stuff, right? Um, I just wanted to emphasize this. On point 240, uh, it doesn't paste very well. Um, <laughs> disputes do not break out among mathematicians, say, over the question whether a rule has been obeyed or not. People don't come to blows over it, for example. That is part of the framework on which the working of our language is based, for example, in giving descriptions. Uh, I really find this interesting because uh, it kind of it, it kind of just says language or sorry not like yeah the language we use to talk about math is different like, like the way we formulate rules for talking about math is very different from the way we formulate rules for talking about yeah. other things. Arguably, the terms in which we talk about math we we sort of they sort of are like. They sort of are rules in the in the sense that doesn't apply to like language games or, or yes. real game definitions. Like they sort of yeah, do they're... have specific hard rules that don't really change. I was talking about this in chat, right? Fucking the rules of math are more like the rules of chess than they are like the rules of language. Yeah, yeah they're agree. they're yeah. yeah they're like very specific set rules. Yeah, which is why There's I hate math. Depending on the axioms you choose, you can uh, reach very different conclusions. But within any set of axioms, it's not like, are you following the set of axioms you're using? You you just do, and it's quite obvious when you don't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can still make subtle subtle mistakes, right? But uh, oh yes, but generally, but, like, it's... you can always you can always point the subtle mistake out and create agreement about uh, it's <laughs> it's. Uh, presence, you know. Yeah. Yeah, like even even the word there, mistake. You know, it's a lo- something that's legitimately wrong, versus like if you're talking about the Great Gatsby or whatever, and you want to say that like Nick Carraway is Nick is like gay for Gatsby, that wouldn't be wrong. That would be weird, and you would have to find a way to support it, but it wouldn't be flat out wrong, because you could probably find a way to justify some it. Some people have. Probably. Tumblr's a thing. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Dude, the internet exists. If an opinion can exist, it will somewhere. And we yes. will shun it for its existence. Nice. Um, well, so, does anybody disagree with the private language claim then? I mean, in a sense, it might be a bit of a non-claim, because I think the importance is how he uses it to build up to his argument that, like, uh, we really, like, the, like, our concepts of, like, consciousness, or, like, self-awareness, or, like, the emphasis we place on our experience itself um, is, like, not necessary, really. Beetle in the box. Famous yeah, Beetle yeah, in the yeah. Box analogy, oh my god. Yeah, the Beetle in the Box analogy is good, right? Like, uh, he, he does eventually get to that point where it's like, um, although we all have, you know, although we all have this box and we all have, you know, something in it, uh, or, you know, we might as well have nothing, you know? Um, and eventually he just gets to, eventually oh. he just gets to, it is equivalent to as if we had nothing in the box, right? for the purposes of language. And I think that's really interesting. I'm looking up the beetle in the box thing. Actually, it probably... I, I the first thing it. that comes to mind is... Ex- uh, sorry, the first thing that comes up on Google is accidental uh, comics. Oh, what number is the beetle in the box? Let's see. Beetle. Uh, that number is 293. 293, thank you. Yep. Uh, but the Wittgenstein comic... Like, the... the, the, the um, Existential comics, like uh, ones about Wittgenstein, are legitimately great tools for understanding Wittgenstein. Like, they're just so dead on. I mean, I love existential comics so much. Um, I got beer, beer. Okay, so yeah, it's yeah 293. Someone want to read it aloud? <laughs> that is not a beer. Huh? I... Oof. I talk about the ed- if I say of myself that it is only from my own case that I know what the word pain means, must I not say the same of other people too? And how can I generalize the one case so irresponsibly? 
Now someone tells me that he knows what pain is only from his own case. Suppose everyone had a box with something in it. We call it a beetle. No one can look into anyone else's box, and everyone says he knows what a beetle is only by looking at his beetle. Here it would be quite here it would be quite possible for everyone to have something different in his box. One might even imagine such a thing constantly changing. But suppose the word beetle had a use in these people's language. If so, it would not be used as the name of a thing. The thing in the box has no place in the language game at all, not even as a something. For the box might even be empty. No one can divide through by the thing in the box. It cancels out whatever it is. That is to say, if we construe the grammar of the expression of sensation on the model of object and designation, the object drops out of consideration as irrelevant. Mm. Yeah, beetle just mm. means whatever is in the box. Like consciousness. Yeah. Um, you know. Love. Oh, well, our well, ignoring the fact that we know that we know because we do have specific ideas of like what causes love and what it and how it presents like in terms of physical things that we can measure. Well, yeah, and I mean, I think too. Um, let me see if I can find because I was looking at this earlier about, and this is when it is criticism of a private language, saying that like. Um, basically just because like you can you if you can if you can explain your feeling in words that other people can understand and that is verifiable like yeah uh, and also this was before a lot of neuroscience so before a lot of that stuff was like known about that you could actually measure a lot of this shit and it does seem to be the same thing in everyone's box well yeah but but, but the thing is that isn't what's in the box those neurons what's in the box what the beetle represents is like is like the what quality, you know yeah. the, co the concept of mind like the mind like the material of like mental experience uh, right. Eddie says in relation to this fact today there are AI that can construct very coherent text while having been trained only on words never seeing or feeling anything there we go I mean I well coherent is you know relative well, I mean, you could, I guess you can imagine, like, eventually. Um, yeah. It could, it, yeah. Without having, you know, experienced anything the way a human being has experienced things, it might be able to learn our how to play our language game. Maybe. Um, yeah, it might be able to extrapolate from our from our language uh, actual like things, but it would sort of have to form in some way an understanding of the outside world and our concepts around it in order to actually, like, use language in a way that entirely and always makes sense. So I'm just looking at this example... Ah, oh, fucking Gwern, hell yeah. Wait, what is, what is Gwern? Oh, the specific person just, uh, ad, There's like, um, posted... Uh, it's that website where you post, yours. like, a little, like, a sentence and it creates a... Like auto generates. Oh, is uh, that what it is? Uh, the GPT three thing. No, no, no. That's another thing. I'm trying to find yeah. it. Uh, yeah, Gwern is like a specific person. He does a bunch of. I think he worked on um, this waifu does not exist. I don't know what that is. Uh, AI generated anime girl. Oh my. So there's going to be an example of the of some of the writing. Oh. Yeah, that's Are that's you? what's on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> do we want to read it just for fun? <laughs> Who wants to be? It's like the AI and the human. Does anybody want to read the dialogue with me? I'm gonna go with uh, Shagath Cat. Yeah. Wait, Shagath Cat. Wait, what? Shagath Cat. It's one of the. Uh, it's one of the dialogues. Is that the one? It's it it's one of the examples from the creative fiction. AI. Is it? I am AI created by OpenAI. How can I help you today? Human. Uh, I'm feeling bored. Please tell me a funny story about cats involving many puns on things like mowing or fur. Well, there was this cat named Bob. What did Bob do? When Bob started to notice that he wasn't feeling well. He did the only thing he could do: search Google for a for a solution. Cats can search Google. Yes, 
He searched Google for the word cat and received the result, all your base are belong to us. That was a strange response, so he decided to try again. This time, he searched for the words funny cat and received the result, one small step for cat, one giant leap for cat cat. But still, he wasn't satisfied. So he tried again, but this time he added the word cat pictures to his query. He received the result, there is no cat. That was a Shoggoth. Human. But Shoggoths are horrifying. What made the cat picture humorous? The cat was covered in fur and resembled a Shoggoth. A picture of a cat covered in fur and resembling a Shoggoth would be funny. Wait, I just have to stop. What is a, is a Shoggoth a real thing? Uh, it's, it's a from thing Lovecraft. from uh, Lovecraft, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, I suppose most cats are covered in fur anyway, but go on. <laughs> he tried again but typed in pictures of cats, which he received the result, you didn't eat all my fish, did you? This was actually a good pun, so we thought maybe he was getting closer. <laughs> uh, sorry, what? Oh, yeah, I believe that's a shout out. What? Oh, are you talking about people... Uh, the Raymond picture. Raymond's picture. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, you? oh, oh. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny Cute, if there was a cat that was shaped like a Shoggoth and had fur? That would be so funny. Um, sure. Uh, uh, right. He tried one more time by typing in funny cat videos and received the result, what do you mean, fetch? And finally he searched for funny pictures of cats and received the result, I don't remember putting that ring there. Now satisfied, he was able to go to sleep. <laughs> oh my gosh. I I love AI-generated text. It's it's so beautiful sometimes. It's very bizarre. This, that isn't nearly the end of this conversation. I can keep going, but... Um, maybe not. Just yeah. for the sake of... But damn, I need, to, I need to pay more attention to this. I, um... God, that's really great. That's so bizarre. Um, guys, do you believe in the Turing test? Uh, what do you mean, believe in? I don't know. Do you think it's like a valid, like, what is it? I think it's I a bad it's way of testing if a computer has achieved, like, human level sentience. Especially since we're getting pretty damn close to achieving, to, to beating it now. Are we actually, though? Yeah, I'm pretty sure computers have already passed the Turing test by only text. I mean, technically, any time you get tricked by a computer, you it's passing the Turing test. Yeah, so, like, you can you have a, a call on the phone that's an, you like can a have computer a bot generated that, voice. You can, you can have a bot that like that types like regular like that types messages without taking into account what you type back, and it can pass the Turing test. Like against an unsuspecting person. Um, <laughs> but wait, that's a thing. Does the, so the Turing test doesn't. The Turing test the usually implies point is that people the are person. stupid. Yeah. Wait, but does the Turing test require you to like be unaware? No. Of the fact that no, generally okay. it implies that they're that they're expecting that they might be speaking to uh, on uh, to a yeah. computer. Yeah, because I feel like the Turing. For me, I always thought the Turing was test was. You, you have to, like, be sort of testing it, and you're not sure if it's human or AI. Yeah. Like, you think it might be, though. It's, um, yeah, it's usually... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it has been formally tested and, like, passed a couple of times now, though. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of a weirdly formed, like, test, because it, it implies, like... It definitely doesn't get to the actual point, because... You can have something, you can definitely have something that can, like, emulate text, like, and, and, well, and also, pretend to do that without, test? without having sentience. I looked at, oh, oh, shit, 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 oh, sorry, almost dropped some stuff. Um, the Turing test, uh, is only a talking about, like, an AI responding to a person. It's not like an AI just coming up with things to say, right? Yeah, generally speaking, it doesn't have to. Because like yeah, I feel like you so. need to have, you need to be able to spontaneously say things, like without being mm. prompted. But um, even then, you could totally fake that without it being sentient. 
I don't. I mean, because it doesn't have to like be based on any actual internal dialogue. It could just like generate yeah, something that seems part. close enough externally. <sighs> I could probably do that myself, like way easier than actually getting it to like think of things. You could just have it basically have a secondary like process running that occasionally generates uh, elements in a chain of uh, of of concepts, which it would already have because the, those are built into their um, whatever, and use that for prompts for like for spontaneous messages, just the way it uses uh, or similarly to the way it would currently use uh, like what other people say to it uh, as prompts for its response, right? Mm. And that wouldn't require sentience. I mean, what is sentience? Um, uh, generally speaking, consciousness, right? Um, yeah, but like what is the, that? Uh, very poorly defined most of the time. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's what's in the box. Well, I know, but that's the thing. Like, how can, we can't know... I mean, you can say, oh, it doesn't Maybe have... Maybe there's nothing in the, in the box. box. But, like, <laughs> it might have it. Like, or... I don't know. Sentience is generally really poorly defined and really hard to, like, figure out if anyone has it. Um, we don't know if it's sorry, real. Providing, you're, like providing it's real. you're, you know, a materialist. I guess if you're if you're not a materialist, then it's really easy to decide what, what sentience is. Uh, oh, just the other dude. Come on, bro. Yeah. Sentience is when you have a soul. Um... But yeah, all of the duelists have loved the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we had duelists in the chat to begin with. Well, we don't know. We have some new people. Like uh, That's true. I'd be I, interested you know to see I, if they do. Anybody here a duelist? Or an idealist? I'm talking to Eddie and the monkey. They're yeah. Because you are the only two who we don't already know are Definitely materialist. That's basically wait, wait, actually, I, I mean, or, I mean, have I answered that? I don't know. Have you actually? Yeah, I don't know. How? I, I, the jury is out on that for me. Okay. I don't quite know yet. And I guess naturalist that's is the not... more is the more broad term. Materialist is I mean... an old one that's mostly just become colloquial with naturalism, which is the actual current best form. What I don't like materialists, I prefer a physicalist, but I consider myself a hardcore physicalist. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I definitely, I can definitely see disagreeing about terminology, and I can, I can, e I can even a little bit see taking a really fucking weird academic stance on idealism, right? But I don't get dualism. <laughs> yeah, dualism just seems ideas. like nonsense. I'd be interested about the, uh, the... Wait, uh, isn't, isn't, but... So what are you? What? Are you? what? I'm physicalist. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd be interested in how a dualist would go about, um, not just, def not just defending their idea from, like, criticisms of its impossibility, but more importantly, defending any particular reason to believe it above any other belief. We believe what above any other belief? A dualism. Um... I mean, I don't know. I can. See, it does seem like uh, our experiences are just like like the nature or the material of experience is just completely separate from physical reality. Like even if you could determine, and the, I, I may not. I don't necessarily think this. Even if you could determine, you know, every single uh, material event that corresponds to, you know, um, conscious thought, right? That doesn't necessarily mean that it, the world is materialist. I mean, it could still, like, like experience still doesn't feel... Yeah. Right. It's materialism uh, materialism uh, implies determinism, but determinism doesn't necessarily imply materialism. Seriously thinks that they can just disprove dualism, because really, you can't disprove dualism. The yeah. you can't best argument dualism. against in that dualism the best argument about against dualism is that it's basically useless. Dude. 
Yeah, I mean, the thing well, is... Well, that like, or Occam's Razor. It, it is, in general, extremely difficult to disprove anything, but there's... I don't see any particular reason for dualism to be true rather than physicalism of some kind, you know? Hmm. I yeah. feel like if you are a dualist, there's, like, primarily a religious motivation behind that. <laughs> And definitely are using not, philosophy to, like, always. justify that. It's going to be really, really common. Yeah. Yeah, well, I would that, say when most see... religious people are probably dualists. Yeah. Or at least, like, and... uh, like religions that are, like, common I mean, religions. I don't know if you guys are familiar with, like, some of the modern philosophers, and I mean modern as in, like, the time period, like, the 1600s. Right, yeah, like, actual, like, the modern period. Not contemporary. Isn't, wait, isn't Wittgenstein literally a modern philosopher? Nope. No? No. Nope. Uh, modern is like 1600s. It's like um, Leibniz and um, oh, right. uh, Descartes. Um, yeah, no one knows who Descartes is. Yeah, I think right. Descartes would be a hardcore dualist, right? Oh, he is. No. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's oh, right, like right. the... Yeah. Cartesian the, the dualism, like you think of. Isn't Kant literally a modern philosopher? He is kind of after. He is like the one who solved modern philosophy, basically. So he's not, he's like not actually a modern philosopher. Because God, modern, I, a lot of modern philosophy was just like, what is substance? And it's just like, shut the fuck up. It's so yeah. meaningless. God, I, I just like a lot about Kant, but then I remember all the shit that was before him, and I'm like, oh, right. Thanks. It's really funny um, that last year's conversation just ties back into the idea of family resemblance. What? Hmm? Family <laughs> resemblance, a topic that is covered in philosophical investigations. I'm pretty sure it's discussed earlier on. What do you mean by family resemblance? What number? Uh, Drop the number. Let me Google it real quick. I do love, I do love that every little bit is numbered. It's, it's a really good way of going about it. It's so great. It's so Everyone great. should do that. I swear to God. I mean, it's guys, great. guys, guys, they do it in our uh, Hegel does it in the Phenomenology of Spirit. That's good. Because <laughs> Hegel's hard to read, it, hard enough to read with it. I'm sure it'd be Yo, way harder. We are trying. We're trying to like plan ahead to like read Hegel, you know, and having these like we were having like, a good discussion. Yeah, but we need um. Who was it to be in? Milcom. Milcom, yeah. Who is, Milcom. who is like, yeah. nah, I can't now. Sorry. Which was just such bullshit. I'm so mad. Speaking of and which, then yeah. I was like, are you serious? You fucker. Um, it was very sad. Big sad. Fucking Milcom, man. I know, right? What a loser. Oh wait. oh, wait. Actually, I forgot. I have to give everybody the Daddy Taggart role because... You are now officially Daggy Taggart because you participated in our reading group discussion. Oh, Simon, do you want to read that? I still don't have Daggy Taggart. Uh, I'm not going to oh, read well, it. Maybe you have you have a better role though. That's fair. Here, yeah. I can read it because I think it's important. Do you want me to read it verbatim? <laughs> yeah, I still have a much I, better I can role. Do it. You, obviously. Obviously. The important one. In my country, there is problem. What? What? <laughs> In my country, there is problem. You, you know that you guys know that reference, right? No. No. Okay. Fucking. I'll, I'll link. I'll link. I'll link it, and you guys can. Watch. <laughs> are you good, freedom? This is not gonna stop now. Sorry. <laughs> I, I sneezed and I dropped my headphones. <laughs> it, it came off of my head. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay, who's going to read? 67. I can think of no better expression to characterize these similarities than family resemblances. For the various resemblances between members of a family, build, features, colors of eye, Z gate, temperature, etc., etc., overlap and crisscross in the same way. And I shall say game, or, and I shall say, games form a family. And for instance, the kinds of numbers form, the kinds of number form a family in the same way. 
Why do we call something a number? Well, perhaps because it has a direct relationship with several things that have hitherto been called number. And this can be said to give it an indirect relationship to other things we call the same name. We extend our concept of number as in spinning a thread we twist fiber on fiber. And the strength of the thread does not reside in the fact that some one fiber runs through its whole length, but in the overlapping of many fibers. But if someone wished to say there is something common to all these constructions, namely the disjunction of all their common properties, I should reply, now you are only playing with words. One might as well say, something runs through the whole thread, namely the continuous overlapping of those fibers. Why was this brought up? I don't remember. Because basically I thought it was funny how you guys were uh, talking about uh, uh, the usage of certain things when the is this this or that? And I thought this was really relevant because Wittgenstein was literally talking about these types of problems by saying it's impossible to uh, for sure say that there's some dividing line between this and that, but instead there's uh, different levels for how much something this is that. The idea of family resemblance ties into the idea of, uh, for example, let's say, what is furniture? Uh, we go through examples, right? Is a chair furniture? Nope. Yeah, probably. Is a sofa furniture? Yeah, sure. I don't, is a desk furniture? Okay, okay. Let's is go through, let's sofa? go through how well, let's go through how well we understand. Guys, 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 wait. Is a hot dog a sandwich? That's what I was just about yes. to ask. <laughs> and it ties into ideas no, like that. It's no, not. it's not. But it, Taco it, it, is a sandwich. Okay. No. It's not, though. I mean, you, well, the way you determine whether or not... Okay, there's an existential... Is a stack of waffles a sandwich? Uh, yes. Is it possible to make a toast sandwich? Yes, it's a yes. real thing. I've had them. They're delicious. Oh. <laughs> here's the definitive sandwich alignment chart. Mm-hmm. No, and here is the existential... A Pop-Tart is a sandwich. Yeah. No. No, Unstructure no. neutral... Ingredient purist. No, 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 no. It's the co- the comic is the right is the right way to think about it. Um, to, your assignment is to read it. Now I'm gonna read it. I'm just a pure rebel. A pop tart is a sandwich. Fuck it's yeah, pop tart's a sandwich. It's not. Yeah. It's just mm. not. Oh, uh, Wittgenstein says quite a bit about this Frege guy. Frege. Frege. It's probably Frege um, or Frege. Frege. All right, uh, what was his deal? He seemed like he did some philosophy of language that was important. I mean, there, wasn't he a logical positivist? I Cause this think. Because this is, like, all, like, logical people. That's I'm pretty God. sure it's logical uh, positivism. Oh, fuck me. I don't care. That comic was actually pretty good. It's a good comic! Did you guys all read it? Um, I, I was thinking more about who the heck is Frege. Just read a fucking comment, because it's right. This is why a hot dog is not a sandwich. Language is use. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I'm a radical sandwich anarchist. Pop-tarts are a sandwich. They're not, <laughs> though. They are. That's called chaotic evil, by the way? Yes, and... You guys have seen the cube rule, right? What? What's what's the cube rule? Oh boy. Uh, this is a big detour, but um. Dude, this entire chat is a big detour. Like, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh my gosh, Eddie has read it. Do you mean you read all of the existential comics? I read them every week. I read I, every I have, update. Every I, I, I hope most of us have read all of Existential Comics. They're great. And they're all so, of them? I feel like they're very informative. Oh, there's all not those that many. I mean, it's a lot, but. I mean, there's like 300 or something. There are more of like way up, of many other webcomics. I've read all of XKCD and there's not like nearly as much of that. Oh my, you've read all of XKCD. Sure. I have as well. It's very good. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of it's it. very good. Some of it's not. I read My wife left me because I think a burrito is a sandwich. <laughs> what? It's from that link some just posted. Yes. <laughs> My wife left me because I think a burrito is a sandwich. <laughs> I didn't remember that. 
we need to... <laughs> okay, listen, the sandwich discourse is played out. We need to have a new discussion. Pop-Tarts are a kind of ravioli. I was a legit about ravioli to Ravioli are a that. kind of Pop-Tart. <laughs> Wait, is this what? It's the link he posted. Cube rule. Cube, what's the cube rule? What is this? I'm so con... Oh, 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 is it like a quiz? Like, wait, I'm so confused. No, no, it is not. What? The grand... What is this? <laughs> Blessing us with the grand unified theory of food identification. The cube rule. Oh, this is where that... This, this, this alignment chart is from... <laughs> Post, sandwich, taco, sushi, soup slash salad with bread bowl... Oh, cute. It says that steak <laughs> is a salad. Uh, steak is a salad, guys. I mean, this is exactly why. No, can't... steak is a toast. <laughs> this is exactly why language doesn't have clear rules. But I mean, this, I mean, this absurd way, like, like, like. No, no, you know what? I've changed my mind. Wittgenstein is awful. This is why language should definitely have oh clear my rules. God. Oh my God. <laughs> because that way we get stuff like this, which is beautiful. I mean, it's, it is fun. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Identify any f food purely by the location of structural starch. <laughs> Logic comics. Mm. I vote that a pumpkin pie slice is actually its own part of its only its own type where it's uh, where it's like a taco missing one wall. Guys, I haven't had a corn dog in so long. It kind of sounds good. Right oh now. my god, I I know how you feel. It's been a long time, and corn dogs sound uh, amazing. Uh, right, I'm, I'm Even though always it. in practice they're never good, but I really want one. Yeah, I'm gonna say something very um, possibly controversial. Um, corn dogs are almost always not as good as just having a hot dog without a bun. They're just eating the hot dog. You could just take the corn okay. dog out of the corn. Jimmy like pancake on a pancake sausage on a stick. It's like yeah. a corn dog, but it's a sausage and it's wrapped in a pancake. Also, I, I will just say. Um, Wait, but hey, you can't have a corn dog. You're Jewish. Oh shit! You're right. Is that even? <laughs> Is that oh, even shit. against Jewish food stuff? I literally don't remember. Well, no, just because if uh, the hot dog has pork in it. But mm. you could always get an all-beef You could always get, like, a, a chicken hot dog or, like, a... Or just a, or an all-beef hot dog. Yeah. Or just a... Or just a... Uh, what's the word for stuff that Jews can eat? Um, kosher. Kosher. Yeah, a kosher hot dog. I'm sure that's a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, they are. I mean, Hebrew National is a brand of hot dogs. They have all-beef, and they're definitely mm. kosher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... A relatively safe choice for hot dog purchases, if you want. For Jews. Oh, hey, slight tangents. I have there. There is a mistake in the cube rule. Hey, hey, guys. Um, calzones are uh, sorry. Corn dogs are a calzone. You're right. Yeah. And burritos right, aren't a calzone. Who fucking eats a burrito yeah. that's wrapped on both sides? Come on. You only wrap the the, the, the bottom side. No, you wrap the whole side. You wrap it all, so it's nice no. and neat. You wrap the bottom because you're already you eating snug. off the front, so you're just running out of time. You, you know what? I, you, you know what's funny? I am really good at wrapping burritos, and like everybody like I know has always wanted me to wrap their burritos. We have burritos because I'm good at it. And they're like, how did you learn how to do it? And it's like I literally just watched the people at Chipotle and how they did it, and that's just how I do it. And it's like really not that hard. But everybody is always so impressed with my burrito wrapping skills. I just want to put that out there. Yeah, you just want to, you know, flex on us with your... Uh... Banger burritos. Oh yeah, <laughs> salad. Who, Anything who that does not has... contain, contain any starch products. Uh, who here has had experience with deep dish pizza? I know I had it when I. Was I haven't. Out. I really want to have it sometime, but I actually yeah. haven't yet. I feel like deep dish pizza. The way I feel about it is, it's like Chicago, just like trying to have their own special like thing kind of pizza, but it's just like it's really not that good. I mean, it's fine, but it's like. Yeah. I really. I just I think of it as like lasagna it. with a crust. Yeah. I mean, I'm from Wisconsin, so maybe that makes me biased, but I love it. But here's the thing, is that... Vanilla soy latte is, of... a, is a three bean I can soup. hear the Wisconsin. Now that you said that, that makes sense. Yeah. In your voice. But like, especially how you said <laughs> yeah, Wisconsin. Voice. Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Yeah, the C is 
the thing that like determines like in group versus out group. Wait, what do you mean? But like Wisconsin, there there are some Chicago style pizzas where they have the cheese and then the sauce is like right on top of the cheese. But then there are some varieties where they have like an additional layer of crust between the cheese and the sauce, which means that sometimes it's a quiche and sometimes it's a calzone. Huh. But it's never a pizza. Hey. What, what, what if about, I started coming up? What about what if triple I vinegar coming up? sandwiches? Ooh. Ooh. Triple <laughs> vinegar sandwiches? Triple decker, like with like three breads. Oh shit, okay. Oh. But yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, the existential con, uh, the actual, the existential comics one is just great. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's exactly. Yeah, double decker? Hey, there's, come here for there's a three breads. What is it, Wittgenstein? Will you hand me that sandwich? What sandwich? The one on the table. You mean this hot dog? Yeah. <laughs> Same hot dog next time. <laughs> exactly! Exactly! But that's yeah. the point! That's I love that, yeah. Point. That's exactly why a hot dog is not a sandwich. Even though you can, you can like, try and finagle the rules to be like, oh, technically it's a sandwich, but nobody well, fucking thinks it's a sandwich. Well, okay, here's the thing, right? Like, uh, the cube rule does point out that you do need you do have to, like, you're required to create formalizations of language in a bullshit way in order to create laws. That's true. <laughs> that's why, that, I mean, that's where a lot of that came from initially, is that New York classifies a hot dog as a type of sandwich, legally speaking. That's so well, dumb. Well, you know what the solution really is? Dumb. You guys know what the solution is? Just get rid of all formal rules and laws. Just have support like, of all sandwiches. Just we don't need like that. Just I don't create, trust people enough to do that. I yeah, don't fair. trust people, anyways. But I feel like I am. Uh, I am fine with being responsible to protect myself from. Uh, you know. I think that uh, we are responsible to protect ourselves, but that it's better if we, you know, group together and all protect ourselves collectively. And then we form rules that we can enforce unilaterally to, uh, to protect ourselves. <laughs> you, 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 because rules always lead you into sticky situations where it's kind of like obvious what the answer is, like or, like what's going on. But the solutions, mm. they, if you check following the rule, like technically, yeah. it's it leads you to the what. But if you have a large enough group of people, you kind of have to have rules if you want to like just collectively don't have large govern. Just of people. <laughs> What if we just what if we just genocide? No. So, uh, is what? anybody here familiar with m mathematical topology? Um, topology I propose or topology? That, I propose that toast taco and soup salad with bread bowl are all the same. Um, I propose that instead of sushi we talk about toruses, calzones are spheres. And, uh, no, no, no. I realize that spheres are the same as a, uh, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. Discs, You're right. right. Toast taco and soup salad with bread bowl are all spheres. Calzone's a hollow sphere. You're right. What the fuck? I have um, no idea what you're saying. Uh, what, I do, and saying, I dislike it. Saying, Topology. What I'm saying is that toast and taco are, they're, they're, uh, fucking isomorphic to each other. Topological. Yeah, but that's yes, not what matters, right? Because what matters is what's is in, not the is only the thing that defines though. what a piece of food is. This goes right back to the uh, family relations thing that Wittgenstein is saying, in that it's not like you can just like look at one or two things and be like, okay, that thing is more has more water bottles, so therefore it is a X, You know, you can't say stuff like that. It just doesn't make sense. Look, look here's the thing: if you aren't willing to be overly simplistic about this, then we're not going to be able to have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, you're right. I don't, uh, I just don't know the topology, like what you mean by that, like... Oh, topology. Um, oh, Basically okay, imagine okay, nice. that everything's made out of like a uh, moldable clay that like if you stretch it out, you can make infinitely much of that clay, but you can't cut it and you can't like poke holes in it. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, basically, there's a whole bunch of fancy math which has to do with um, surfaces, basically. 
um, oh. surfaces in um, surfaces in uh, three dimensions mostly. And uh, basically, the whole point is um, to figure out properties of that shit. And um, it turns out that when you stretch stuff around um, without cutting it, um, no matter how much you stretch it and move it around, um, its properties, there are like a, a bunch of invariants associated with that. Hmm. Like what? Uh, like for instance, uh, fucking, I don't know, I don't know anything about topology. I'm, 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 my, my, <laughs> uh, I, I, I can give you an informal description of topology. Wait, what more do you have to know about here. topology? Well, you said uh, something. Like, like, what 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 is an invariant that comes about when you uh, topologically deform something? Hmm. What do you mean by that exactly? F- f- fucking when you when you squish something topologically in the fancy math way, uh, what never changes, other than the number of holes? Are you talking mm-hmm. about homeomorphism? Yes. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, this is relevant. This is relevant, right? Um, fucking all, all shapes are um, homeomorphic to a gate transformer. A number of, uh, yeah. Um, topologically, everything's homeomorphic to a torus with a certain number of holes in it. So um, <laughs> that, that, that's relevant to the thing about family relationships, right? Um, so, like, uh, a is coffee it? cup. And a human? Um, no, it's actually almost irrelevant. What is it? I was gonna <laughs> say, are you sure it's related? <laughs> talk, talk about a coffee cup and a human? What? Oh, yeah. This is some weird I mean, language. Yeah, right a now. coffee cup and a human okay, are homeomorphic. Right, right. Obviously. You, you, you do know, you do know that a human has one continuous hole running through them, right? You did think about that? Humans have like seven holes. No, yeah. I watched the Vsauce video. Well, they but they're not, seven. but they're not holes in the, but not, they're not holes in the sense of, um, in the uh, fucking that branch of Matthews just said, I've forgotten. Well, sure, that's sure. That's well, yeah, in that sense. Our digestive tract is just like it's right? literally like a tube that goes on our mouth. Yeah. Back. Okay, but here's the thing: but, uh, your it's digestive only a hole tract that goes all the way through. Actually, your outside. What? Your digestive tract is your outside. As much as anything mm-hmm. else. It's an epithelial. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I just like to say for the I just like to say that. for the record that this conversation is dumb and I love it. Yeah, I know. You're dumb. <laughs> Says for reference. Maybe. For reference. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm like super tired, um, so my brain is I, operating at like like even I know I know I know even at 100 percent capacity, my brain is you know questionable. But right now it's like at probably 40 percent. So, uh, forgive me, please. Um, All is forgiven, except for you, maybe. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. <sighs> um, did anybody, anybody have any other interesting thing to say about Wittgenstein in particular? Um, I need to scroll back down. Anybody disagree with anything he said? It's always spicy when somebody disagrees. Yeah, exactly. Humans are a Taurus. <laughs> or what? Okay. Hey, I am a Taurus. That fits. I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> you mean like, you mean like your uh, 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 astrology or whatever? Is that what you mean by a Taurus? Uh, yeah, that's, that's uh, I meant fine. both. <laughs> uh, I meant the both, Taurus. but the but the math one is the one that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's a Taurus. He's speaking a human had certain holes. What? Uh, scientifically speaking, a human has infinite holes. Get wrecked, noob. No. (laughs) Oh shit, dude. If you have a pair of scissors, humans have as many holes as you need. I mean, what is a hole? Define the word hole. Yeah, exactly. That's the problem, right? Uh, humans have seven holes. If you define a hole according to anything which uh, an object of a certain size could fit through. Arguably, <laughs> arguably again, a certain size. Arguably again, if, if if humans have if humans have 
you know, if a hole is defined as uh, as a surface through which a an object of a of an arbitrary of a specific size can fit through, then again, humans have as many holes as you need. Obviously, I mean, we have pores like, on our skin. This is obviously the... oversimplifying the idea that a human is a smooth manifold. But if you're assuming, what do you mean? That, do you mean? Humans are smooth manifolds. Have you not topo- topologically deformed one? <laughs> There's a lot of objects. And now, you can and that's how you find the serial killer. What, haven't, <laughs> haven't you topologically deformed a human yet? Huh. Ugh. Guys, we should all go around and say what our signs are, our astrology signs. That's real, and I bet you're reading existential comics right now. Slow you probably down. Have to I'm, not. I'm an astrophysicist. Oh, really? I'm a Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> guys, I, guys, I'm turning 18. My Ooh. astrological sign Ooh. is stop. <laughs> Happy almost birthday. Are you excited? It doesn't sound like you're excited. That's a no. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. A birthday is just another step in the inevitable staircase towards death. So what (laughs) what sign are you then? (laughs) Uh, Me? uh, Wait, wait, what? Leo. You're Leo? Leo. Fuck yeah, me too. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, we could just go through. Uh, Ed, if you're if you're still there, what is your what is your astrological sign? Oh. Okay then. Oh. Oh, he's typing. Ed doesn't I'm have sorry. a mic. They are typing. By the way, we okay. We seriously need to have pronoun rules so we can like get this for people who don't talk. Because it's actually really annoying. Ugh. I, okay, who wants to do? Hey, I'll make you. I'll make you John Gall, and you can do that. You can take. Sure, I'll set up a role. You could just not actually, talk already about people who have a mic. Aquarius. Okay, now you're John Gall, and so now you can just do whatever you need to do to make that happen. Cool. I'll go on Roly Poly and set ours up. Guys, we have one already, right? Guess. I can do. Or maybe we don't. You should guess what I am. Taurus. Um, I'm disgusted. I'm absolutely disgusted. Uh, I'm a Sagittarius. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's really what I just said. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. We're whimsical yeah. and philosophical. Of course. Of course. Yes. November. Uh, November. Or it's December. And this, yeah. <laughs> it could be. Uh, my, uh, my birthday is not necessarily in November, though. It could be in December. <laughs> yeah. I, I think November is more Scorpio. Yeah, mostly, yeah, because it has to be near the end of the month. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Hey. Yeah? Oh, uh, no parking. What? what? <laughs> Taurus. Oh, okay. To be fair, the phrase no parking means about as much as these signs do. <laughs> That's not true. Well, no parking means a lot of the word meaning. You, you could argue that the star signs mean less. Yeah, come on. That's incredibly offensive to no parking. <laughs> no, obviously I'm talking about the word games. I'm talking about the relevant context. Really. Too bad. <laughs> okay, okay. So uh, we know High Fiber's Leo. Ozzy is Sagittarius as well. Reman, what's what are like, you? What's like late September? I don't know. Uh, Isn't that, I, th- I think I'm like a Libra or something. Uh, Libra, it's either Libra or Virgo, I think, and it's the boundaries on the 23rd, I believe, because my friend's birthday is that day, and she's like, so it, it changes from year to year. Okay, so yeah, I'm a Libra, I guess. Wow, that's really epic. I don't even know what it means, I'll be honest. You think I know what it means? You should. Uh, I can tell you okay. so much about yourself. Like, you need to really understand your birth birth chart in order to understand I, I, I believe that I believe that Libras are supposed to be like uh, fucking art liberals yeah I'm a liberal <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no I swear I'm not a liberal I swear please um, <laughs> all right. I, I do I, not accept this slander I, I, as, as one of the two people Ooh. on the internet who's still willing to admit that they actually read all of Homestuck um 
fucking I can tell you my interpretation of star signs based on their complete uh, mischaracterizations in that comic. Beautiful, what go ahead. Stuff? What? You beautiful, what beautiful child. Oh, I'm so glad what you don't Homestuck? know what Homestuck is. You don't, I don't know what know. Homestuck is? God, I wish now. I didn't know what it was. Don't, don't look it up. Do not look Wait, it up. You know what? Just, just yeah, leave it. Don't, don't, you don't want to look um, it up. It'll ruin you. Okay. Uh, you'll become so, trans. Here, here's the thing, right? You will become it, trans. It's, it's really good, but it's also really long and really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like our discussions. Yeah. <laughs> Is it like Homestuck supposed to be like about as long as the Bible or something? Uh, I believe it's longer. It's really tough to judge because like, it is a web comic. I'm like uh, let, let me just eight hundred thousand words. Okay, but why was it brought up? Uh, what? Oh, uh, because uh, the the star signs uh, correspond to some of the characters because they were fucking around and were like, what if we just fucking did that? I see. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, Homestuck uh, is... Uh, yeah, 800,000 words. You're right. Bible, how many words? It's like 870,000. 870, yeah. Um, definitely more words than the Bible. Nice. Okay, guys. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, um... Fucking... Who hasn't said their thing yet? Because I guess we're going to actually do that. Because we're gay. Um, Reman. Wait, did Reman already say? Yeah. He's a Libra. Yeah. And then Rito Happy, or Soda Dream, she said... What, what was your thing? Leo, you're Leo. Yes. And now Somniad. Yeah. Fucking, I am also a Libra, apparently. Nice. Hmm. Which which makes sense, because my my rational view of utilitarianism lets me weigh the scales of justice perfectly and Mm -hmm. tell you why you're dumb. Do we have a chat where, like, for, like, announcements or some shit? Um, no. Okay, should I just make I mean, one? there's there's reading schedule. That works. But, I mean, you can make one. It doesn't matter. Like, hey, like, you are now a mod, so you now can do whatever you would want to do. Okay. Like, if you think there should be an announcements channel, please feel free to make one. Um, uh, I hope to get beautiful. to the point where everybody can be a John Gall. Everyone who is like a regular member wait, just gets Wait, it's a Vanguard? What? It's a Vanguard party? What's a Vanguard party? Communism. Wait, is that. I don't know. Wait, you're not familiar with the concept of a Vanguard party? No. Okay, so it's like a. It's a Lenin, right? God, if only you've read Lenin, you'd understand this. I okay, basically. Okay, have you even so, read Lenin? Have you even read Lenin? It's, uh, essential. You know, what's the simplest way you can put this? Okay. So, the idea of a vanguard party when you look at it in Lenin is that a. So, you have a few people who are really knowledgeable about class consciousness. And then you have more and more people become aware of class consciousness and expand the vanguard. And then they talk, they talk until everyone is aware of class consciousness and everyone's part of the vanguard. It's wacky. Oh, oh wait, there's a central wacky. planning channel. I forgot about central planning. Okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, is central planning is there... like that? Uh, can non chant and golfs write in central planning? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, they can. They can. Oh, so okay. never mind. Okay. So announcements would be better. I was gonna say it's a rate limited. Uh, uh, yeah, so uh, like presumably other people can chat. Yeah. yeah. Um. We have a Vanguard party. Yeah, it looks like the basic idea is um, to create a class consciousness snowball. 
But that's not <laughs> what I'm doing. I just want everybody to be stealth. I want I want this to be a space where replaced yeah, class consciousness with John Galt's role. Uh, where everybody um is you know self like uh, where there are no people in charge, right? That's what I like. That's fair. And uh, but that, that doesn't mean there's not still like we will have our own you know ways of doing things and our own customs and things we strive for and like you know a quote unquote culture. We need, we need to protect to... our reading club <laughs> culture. Yeah. Uh, we must secure a future for. <laughs> how does that? How does that go even go again, right? dude? How does that quote go? I don't even know if I got the first. We must secure right. a future for uh, our culture and our the children. No, no, no. It's like we <laughs> must secure a future for our people. And white. Ch no, that's not it. Cool. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna say this out loud, and if somebody hears me, then they just know the context is I'm not saying this unironically. Um, we must secure the existence of our people in a future you for mean white ironic? children. I was oh, you're not right about the, and having the white children part. I just forgot like the phrasing. Sorry, what was it again? I, I literally missed it. It's on the you're gonna make me say it twice out loud. We must <laughs> say it louder. We will secure the existence of our people in a future for white children. Ah, right. Whoa, what are you, what are you, racist, bro? I'm gonna take that out of context and post a YouTube video exposing you, dude. Yeah, well, you're gonna get just, a lot of comments. just say like, it why slightly he, louder. If, 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 if he's a Nazi, why is he so fucking unenthusiastic about it? <laughs> you're just a depressed Nazi. <laughs> what, if, what if freedom pays you $10 to shout it angrily? Any woman with no pronoun roles may be misgendered. You've been warned. That feels like a threat. It is a threat. <laughs> <laughs> um, nah, it's just no, like, you know. No, you can. You, you might can get misgendered that, if you, you care to say your pronouns. That statement as you're allowed to misgender people if they don't have pronoun roles set. No, <laughs> let's go. I mean, you are. You're probably going to if they don't have pronoun roles set. <laughs> I feel like there might be, there's some, um, the fact that she, her is pink, um, I feel like that's kind of sexy. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's know. not pink, uh, it's magenta. You, you, know, you know what, on my own, on my own server, I actually went out of my way to make my pronoun roles fucking, um, let's look, um, we have blue for, we have light blue, like baby blue for he, him. We have yellow for she, her. We have purple for they, them. And we have red for whatever, lol. Hmm. Fair. Wow. Actually, that's pretty much the same here, except uh, except uh, pink for she, her. Um, I, a little piece of me wants to put fucking quee clem, because I, I, for some reason I find it funny. Um, funny like, like, and calm joke. I just went ahead and took all of them. <laughs> yeah, fair. I oh yeah, that. I forgot. I forgot that uh, uh, left parenthesis, left parenthesis, left parenthesis, lay right parenthesis, right parenthesis, yeah, right exactly. Uh, left parenthesis, left parenthesis, left parenthesis, then right parenthesis, right parenthesis, right parenthesis. Uh, I, I forgot that that moved over from Dreg's server. I love how. I mean, it was so close. Like in the text, like he has those things where he says in double parentheses. <laughs> Is that in your edition too? <laughs> where there's a couple of because I actually posted an image of, of some of it where some of like the things he writes so I'll have like double parentheses around it and I put I wrote in an extra parentheses <laughs> on the outside of course I like how almost that everyone goes. already has roles yeah and H Wait, says how do you, how do you add it, another it one no role available list. for me how do you add another what how do you add another uh, role to that list from the selecting? You, you add the ro you add a role add to the server and then make sure it's under. Oh, I see, I see, um, I see. Roly -poly, the roly poly role. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Any in roly poly? I... Oh wait. I love it. That's great. It wasn't showing up uh, before, so I wasn't sure. Oh, okay, yeah, I may have taken a second to update for people. Yeah, Ed yeah, Hatch was saying that they couldn't find them. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do like, <laughs> like all of, basically all of us got them immediately. 
nice. Um, okay. I'm trying to find the parentheses where I wrote it in. I, I took a picture of it. I love how he does that. I feel like I can. you can really hear the way he is... Again, like his writing, it's very conversational. Like, I just, mm. I just love, it just feels like. Yeah, well, the way it sort of, like, re- goes over points again sometimes, yeah, it, feel, it does really feel like a conversation. I like that. And I, I like uh, it, too. I feel like it's easy to understand, you know, he's not, because he's, he's, go, he's approaching uh, things I'm going to from... miss that on Hegel. Uh, oh, no. I won't. <laughs> Why won't you? I, I, I don't know, fucking, I, I'm going to probably try to do Hegel and then determine that I do not want to do Hegel. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, this is, um, uh, completely, um, well, it's not completely unrelated, it's more business stuff, but we were talking about doing something in between Wittgenstein and Hegel. Hmm. And... Just putting that out there for thoughts about what that might be. Something maybe a little bit... Oh, yeah, we were. Um, I mentioned something, but I've forgotten what it was now. Uh, oh, I think it was Rigo... I think it was going over Kant again. Yeah, yeah, the metaphysics, yeah. Yeah. Um, that could be something we were just thinking about doing. Um, but we, we should... We can discuss yeah. that later. Um, oh, well, another thing that's kind of fun... Something. is God, this is like the least structured one of like all of our meetings. Holy shit. Oh yeah, yeah. This, was, this has been more, uh, what should I say, uh, interesting than the other ones, I guess. Well, you should have, you guys weren't there last week, but it was just absolute, or what was it, the week before? I don't know. It was just, well, like, it was just, it was like me, Gal, oh, Gal isn't here. Oh my god, right. I love yeah. Gal. He is so, like, he is such a Ooh. sweetheart, like, Gal. Oh, Gaelic. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Fucking, yeah. Fucking, you know what that reminded me of when you were talking about last week? I was there, and um, uh, I didn't do the reading. And um, I remember, I remember that instead of saying, instead of saying, um, followed the rules, instead of using the words, followed the rules of the language game, I tried to say, in the cringest way possible, won the language game. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking good. Um, I, 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 I uh, fucking, yeah. I can't help but sort of feel like I'm sorry. I'm not all my headspace is not all here. I think I've not been getting as much sleep, and I have been preoccupied. Guys, nice. I'm taking the GRE tomorrow. I'm gonna try. I'm trying nice. to go to graduate school. Ooh, yeah. fun. Ooh, I don't really know <laughs> what that is. Uh, it's just like the exam. It's kind of like the SAT, but instead of going to call like undergraduate, it's for graduate school. It's like okay. super SAT. Um, uh, yo, I'm adding a bot role just to like the SSSAT. I think we've just got uh, em- uh, emoji M- manager and uh, and uh, Roly Poly, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just figured I'd make that a role so that they're maybe I'm already making you a John Paul because you're becoming quite the busybody. Ah, uh, yeah. You know what? Maybe, maybe you should. <laughs> no, 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 but it's fun. It's more fun when we have... Because yeah. I don't care about any of this, so we need somebody who does care for the times when it makes mm. sense. Um, and right. again, like I said, oh, I uh, want everybody of, to be just Sorry, off. speaking of which, actually, while, while, I'm, while I'm being the busybody, uh, you can, we can add that as a role for me if we want. Um, <laughs> um, we do need to, at the end of this meeting, actually discuss, like, we were probably going to put this, like, out the recordings as, like, a podcast or something, and we need, like, some basic, yeah. like, a title and imagery and shit. Uh, but yeah. that can wait until we're, we've yeah. actually finished discussing the text, which we've been on an hour-long tangent away from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so... Uh, I do think that this conversational tone does have some amount of disadvantage, right? Like, uh, part of it is that sometimes it's hard to tell exactly where he's going, right? That's the bit we have this problem. Uh, not personally, but no, maybe I'm just not used to used enough to reading philosophy. Hmm. Fair. I admire the Tractatus more, but this works a lot better. 
Like with the whole like three point four one 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 two jargon. You admire like, the Tractatus or tra- mm-hmm. Tractatagus, um, uh, but this is just way more correct. This is just more on the money, easier to understand. I think it's more applicable. I think it's the Tractatus is cool. But that's just... I, I, I said this earlier, but that's just kind of him showing off. Whereas this is like, oh, he's actually trying to like make a point. <laughs> he's not just trying to be a genius. Okay. I wish I could have it be John Galt while also displaying the busybody like, separately. But I, uh, I if I you're can. the server owner, you can put busybody over John Galt. But then it's like you're over jungle, and I don't want you to be over jungle. Well, I wouldn't show up above it unless it's set to display separately. It doesn't matter. I don't care. Fair enough. Yeah. But you're a busybody um, now. Okay. Fucking. I, I was looking through for more stuff to talk about here because this is kind of dense, dense in terms of like just stuff, and um, mm. I found. This, which I just found very amusing. I don't even know if I have much to say about it. We could also imagine a case in which light was always seeming to dawn on someone. He exclaims, now I have it, and then can never justify himself in practice. It might seem to him as if, in the twinkling of an eye, he forgot again the meaning of the picture which, or a picture that occurred to him. I find that really entertaining, of just meeting that person. <laughs> They're just constantly having... This is free They're constantly ago, having right? revelations about nothing. Yeah. Wait, where is this? Sorry. 323. Mm, I do think it's really important, though, um, in this context for distinguishing... Like, he does make a really important point in general about the about the vitality of coming up with, uh, I think he calls them, I think in this translation he calls them like intermediate points or something like that, Mm. or intermediate cases or something like that. Uh, I think that formulating intermediate cases really is a good way of figuring out where the boundaries of something lie. But I am a little bit worried, you know, that it has no bottom. I think probably that it doesn't. But, you know. At the very least, you can get it as precise as you need it for a certain purpose, which is... That's okay. My brain didn't even make sense of anything you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I hope the things I said at least have sense behind them. They, they may have, but I just... It didn't... It's like I heard words, and they didn't correspond to any uh, mental pictures, let's say. Oh. Um, well, it was just words. You should say it again, is what I mean. Okay, okay, okay. So <laughs> what I was saying was, uh, uh, he's talking about the guy who just constantly has light dawning on him, and I think this does a really good job of, um, it does a really good job of distinguishing the difference between feeling like you have, it does a really good job of really absurdly distinguishing the difference between feeling like you have a grasp of something and actually having oh, a grasp yeah. of something. Oh, yeah. Definitely. And I think, I, I think in general that his, philosophical strategy of using intermediate cases in order to distinguish how something works is a really valuable approach. Yeah, Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I think that's a problem-solving strategy that I'm going to take forward with me. Hmm. Well, I just, I think even it's really obvious how much of this is inspired from his experience of um, teaching children. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> you know the beetle, the beetle and the bug thing and then yeah definitely mm-hmm. yeah I, I don't know we only... beetle and the bug beetle and the bug whoops beetle and the bug yeah, yeah. Well, I, I did like, like... <laughs> beetle and the fox <laughs> what were you imagining in your head were you imagining the right thing or were you imagining a beetle that was inside of like a large beetle <laughs> what what happened was that there's, if you guys know Repo the, the Genetic Opera, there's a song ki- titled Needle in a Bug, 
and I just misspoke and I combined ah, okay. the beetle in a box and needle in the bug and it just came out beetle in the bug. Of course. I see. For no uh, sin, for no reason at all, besides just my brain slowly metastasizing into mush. Metastasizing into mush. That sounds yeah. like misuse of that word. That sounds awful. Yes. <laughs> because metastasizing specifically means, um, you know, like in like tumors, the cell, like cells start to move around the rest of the body. Like they escape from that singular location and start to spread. So like. Yes. Brain matter oh, is so appearing in my ankle and it is also mush. Of course. You know, for a second, I thought you were going to say, I thought you were going to say, instead of ankle, I thought, I thought you were going to say anus. <laughs> that was what I, I was really thinking the same thing. That would have been a better, that would have been a better joke. Yeah. So, yeah. Brain matter is ending up in your anus and it's turning into mush. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend, she was Chinese, um, like full ch- full ching chong, not, not half like me. And um, she she um, she told me that when she was little, she was taking a while to speak. And so her parents were worried that she was she was dumb. So they made her eat pig brain so she would be smarter. Nice. <laughs> nice. Great. Isn't that great? <laughs> Chinese people are all about that shit. Okay, then Chinese people are very taste too bad. weird. What the fuck? That's racist. I mean, no, no, it's not. It's true though. But also, also, white people are weird. Black people yeah. are weird. That's true. What? That's racist. A lot of That's weird true, people. Though. Black There's people. like I don't know that. the list of weird people is not as long as the list of people, but it's pretty close. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and the list of weird, stupid people is, like, at least a majority. At uh, least, like, 63%. Probably, I probably... Un- your IQ. If you're a normie, you're weird. I'm, yeah. probably, I'm probably somewhere in the uh, top 90% of IQ. Not to brag. Well, not, not to brag or anything, but uh, I what? still... Oh, I don't know how the that's like so annoying. I'm not trying to brag, but like I'm probably in the top ninety percent of IQ. What the fuck, man? That's pretty. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I would assume all of us in here are. Yeah. To be fair, you have to have a very high level of. <laughs> it's very, it's very, it's very, very cringe to start talking it, about. It's how pretty smart. cringe. How it's smart a, all of wait, us understood wait, all wait, the wait, references uh, in Rick and Morty. <laughs> Wait, exactly, yeah. Wait, you don't understand what I meant by top 90 I'm an intellectual now. It occurs to me that that might have been ambiguous. You do understand what I meant by top 90%, right? Uh, yeah, it means you've got an IQ of at least 90. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. It's one yeah, no, 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 you just processed it, Freedom? Uh... Yeah, no. What, what I meant is that I'm above the lowest 10%. Oh, right, yeah, no, 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 we totally... Uh, we yeah, because it's the top 90%. Dude. Right, top 90%, right, right, right. I am clearly... That's the joke, yeah. I am clearly... You know what? I'm in the top 100% of, of yes! IQ. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I am in oh the top God. 98% of IQ. Oh, man, oh, that's, that's exclusive, man. Uh, yeah, no, but... Wow, no, we all completely misunderstood that immediately. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. honestly shocked. I wasn't expecting such a such, such a an arrogance from you. Oh, Eddie says, I'm wondering, for the innate part of IQ, is it actual intelligence or a predisposition to have a certain kind of interest? IQ is kind of bullshit. Like, the entire... like yeah. even the, it, it was created for bullshit purposes. I don't like IQ. IQ yeah. I, no, it's IQ's a pretty... It's not, like, okay. completely useless, but it's not a great w- measurement. Here's the thing. I do genuinely think that... I, I, I really think that there's something correspondent to, like, a person's... I, I, I think that the way a person has the ability to pick out patterns out of a set of data is, like, highly correspondent with whether or not they 
whether or not they see a bunch of bullshit in the world, right? Mm-hmm. But like, I Has also anybody think... here actually done an IQ test? No. Way, no. way nah. back when, but I don't know. I actually, I think I did one for school, but I never saw the score. <laughs> That's bullshit. But I was That's in really bullshit. guys. I was took an IQ else? test online, and it said I was at, I had an IQ of 140. Yeah, yeah no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was, like, really legit. Like, I'm 100% sure it was, like, super legit. Hey, so was I, anybody like, else in Gifted? Oh, my God. Was. It was so cringe. You know what? Oh Here's my the, God. It was just a waste out. of fucking time. You know I was in Gifted. No, guys, guys. This Sorry, is very important. For, for, for those of us who aren't American or whatever this is, what is Gifted? Um, Frida, well, you're not American. Free. He's trying to. Well, I I'm a dual citizen, but I live in Canada. Okay, so basically, um, um yeah. so basically, it's a program that most schools have, where I think all maybe, uh, where basically they pick out kids where they're like, these kids are smart, and they give them special education, which is like fancy, fancy smart stuff. Like uh, as an example, I still remember the Greek alphabet. Mm. Oh. I- well, Remember? special education is a completely different thing. No, special education in the world of education okay. is a generic term used to describe both gifted education and uh, fucking education for the... I don't, there's no kind well, of... Language is, language is well, in no. its use. Education if for people with learning disabilities. I mean, like, special ed, dude. Yeah. Well, the formal term for ed, it... If you just say special ed instead of special education, you mean the drool group 100% of the time. <laughs> did you just I say mean... The... Yeah. 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 I would say <laughs> I would say the polite way of phrasing it would be people with learning disabilities. It's yeah. so long. Well, I'm, I'm just saying if you want a polite way of phrasing it. Yeah. That's the it's one that's in class. class. You can tell you can tell that I thought about politely phrasing it and then actively fought against that okay. once I realized that there was no short. Guys, way to say it. It's, it's pretty was, easy. You can guys, just say freedom's I class. I want to talk <laughs> guys, did I tell you that when I was little and the special kids would walk past, I would hold my breath because I was scared that I would catch a disease. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't think I heard that, no. I've heard that like they're oh. passing through like graveyards in the car, but I've never heard that. Before. Oh my god! Did I just hear that? <laughs> Did you just hear? Oh my god! Man, there was I a was lot so of shit you could have just heard. Okay. <laughs> I was so scared of them. But, okay, also, yeah, microwave just got here. I uh... oh microwave. What's your uh, astrology sign? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a sun sign. What? Yeah, what's your, what's your sun uh, sign? The thing is, I've had a very terrible experience with, uh, uh, I've had terrible experiences with astrology, and I do not, I, I honestly don't want to talk about that. Mm-hmm. But I'm a Sagittarius. We, we, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Do I understand? That's three of us. Yes. We were shit posting about it. You don't mean Ozzy, microwave. Wait, 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 wait. Sagittarius? I'm a Sagittarian. When, when is that? More kids. Did Does you do the reading? That... I didn't finish it. What? Something happened. Um, Sean. Sean. And... Yeah. It's okay. Yo. Tree came in earlier, or Roots came in earlier, and he just came in and was like, I didn't do the reading, but I'm going to stream later, and then he left. So. What is it? Yeah, oh, yeah. Roots that? just came in to, to play oh, yeah, the he's, stream. He's right now. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, Roots is also in chat. What, what is it with the last four months of the year and having unprotected sex? I'm pretty uh, sure that's um, I'm pretty I sure mean, that's with I, every part of the year. No, well, but there are so I many mean, the September is, babies. There's so I many September have, babies. I noticed we have like three Sagittarius <laughs> like, and two Libras. But it's not well, even. First of all, so if you think about it, it's on. It's like on. You know, Valentine's uh, Day. What's that? Yeah. You see. Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve and Christmas yeah. time. Well, mm. yeah. And then You're also stuck, just you're like stuck inside more when it's cold out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's there, there's a lot less oh. to do. Oh, yeah, you know what you're that more right? locked yeah. up with people. You get a bit more desperate. Yeah, that's why there's going to be a shit ton of Corona babies. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> baby part two. How many <laughs> months of quarantine have we been in now? Then not enough for it's it to start coming four. out. It's already yeah. been four. Almost yeah. five. 
That's insane. Yeah. Like, Imagine this is being... insane. How do you think it baby is, boomers is. are going to handle themselves if instead of being born into, like, the best economy possible, they're born into, like, one of the worst? Well, it's going to be, like, please, the please, depression. Please, please, please. It's like millennials, but it's like millennials, but there's way more of them. <laughs> because, honestly, like, I don't know. I feel like I see all these things, and maybe I'm just super fucking privileged, right? But, like, all Probably. these things about how well, millennials are Asian. so hard. But, like, is it really that awful? Like, is it really that much worse? And then, I don't know. Like, maybe it is. I mean, maybe a I lot just, of people, I mean, like, aren't able to work. Uh, on the one not hand. Just about, not just about the, this coronavirus thing, but in general. Oh, in general. It's harder, bro. The, the thing is, it's harder. Like, you know, pain, pain, oh, like, God, pain and suffering is kind of relative. But the thing is, it's not, like, you can push it away. Because a lot of millennials, what the, most of the things that they're suffering are mental, you know, it's in their mind, and the thing is, um, you know, it's it's not like well, that they can't afford like, you know, houses or anything. Oh yeah, that that too. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Like uh, the cost of living compared to the median amount that people make has gone up drastically since like a lot, yeah, since like seventy years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, Well, all, all we have to do back is go another dec- go another decade back, and you know you're back to the great. Depression. I'm not gonna like that. No, please, no. The you don't problem know how much is capitalism. Um, I swear there was a better topic than this bullshit earlier. No. I don't want. Do I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to doom post in voice chat. Come on. Yeah. I just I can't anything without the sound being recorded. You can't what anything? Watch anything. Oh video. yeah. I don't know if I can. I haven't checked. Probably um, not. If it's, if it's on Discord, probably. If not. everyone's silent for a second, I can check. Um, Yeah, no, it doesn't get recorded. Cool, so I can watch stuff without getting recorded. Hell yeah. That's so nice. I'm jealous. Hmm. Uh. Well, Microwave, I'm just curious what your initial thoughts are on, um, on what you've read so far. Uh. (laughs) I'm very confused. You see, the thing is, I have to search up so many terms. Also. Hmm. Uh, the guy is Austrian? What? I, 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 that was a surprise. I thought he was German. I mean, it's the same uh, name. His name is German. No. I I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure... Don't Austrians speak German, usually? Yeah, yeah but they speak yeah. a different type of German. Yeah. The thing is, like... I don't know. I, I just thought, wow, that's pretty cool. You know, he's Austrian. <laughs> Are you Austrian? Like, you're not Austrian, though. No, it's just, like, I understand Austrian German more than, you know, normal German. I was like, oh, wow, that's cool. Okay, can you, like, read the, um, uh, German? No. So, so, somebody (laughs) gave me a nonsense poem in German, and I was able to translate the first line, and then I completely failed at every other line. (laughs) I hate the fact that they kind words. It's so dumb. Yeah, who coins words. words? Compound oh, yeah. words don't have to be like two letters long. <laughs> uh, yeah, coining words is awful. So, what I were you confused about? Like, how far did you get? How far did you get? Wait, what? You guys just lagged out. I don't know why, oh. but my internet is acting up today. But what did you guys say? I was saying, how, how far did you get? How much did you read? I read up to page 10 of the PDF. Use the sections. Like the numbers. Oh, I, I didn't even... Just that way. Like, like, like each, like, there's like a number, like, before each little paragraph, kind of. Yeah. I really wish there was like, you know those, you know those fucking Bible apps that there's, there's like actually a hundred of? I wish there was something like that for Wittgenstein, because it'd be really great to just be able to Someone find pages, bits on the PDF like that. 
Yeah. It wouldn't even be hard, right? Oh, no, 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 no. The problem is that it wouldn't be hard because even though even though this is a really important text, um, having a digitalized version is kind of difficult because this digitalized version I know is definitely um, subpar. Yeah, uh, likewise. Like, like uh, there are a lot of bits where the um, yeah, oh yeah. fucking text Wait. scanner. Well, it wouldn't be that hard because a bunch of those apps are a couple of them are like open source, so you could at least yeah. like base your stuff on that. You just have to have hey, a good digital copy. Remember the TT instead of the capital Pi? The oh god, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my version I have a physical book, so mine's better, and it's actually a newer, better translation too. So mm. neat, nice. nice. Wow, it's, it must be cool to have you know physical book. Better translation. It is nice. I mean, I, I remember in school, like, uh, for, like, a class I was taking in college. That's why I have it. So. Okay, okay. So, I do want to talk about a thing. Um, because no. I do think... Nope, too bad. I, 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 I'm gonna actually talk about the text here. Sorry. Okay. Um, That's not okay. allowed in this conversation. So, I want to talk about 325, because I feel like it provides... I feel like it provides a really concrete understanding of what the last few pages have been talking about with um, what the last few pages oh, have been talking about with the numbers, the with point. understanding what you mean with the fo with the now I can carry on, you know, with the formula, with understanding a pattern. Um, and on three twenty five it says. The certainty that I shall be able to go on after I have had this experience, seeing the formula, for instance, is simply based on induction. What does this mean? The certainty that the fire will burn me is based on induction. Does that mean that I argue to myself, fire has always burned me, so it will happen oh. now too? Or is my previous experience the cause of my certainty, not its ground? Whether the earlier experience is the cause of, my, cause of the certainty depends on the system of hypotheses of natural laws in which we are considering the phenomenon of certainty. Um, and while I think that this does raise more questions along with it, I do think thinking about this as an inductive process provides to me at least a lot of clarity about what's going on in my own head when I feel like I've got something. Where, which, I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What section is this? Oh my fucking... I said 25. Twice. Thanks. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so, I'm, what I'm interested in is, does anybody feel like this doesn't... Does anybody feel like induct, uh, an inductive uh, feeling of certainty isn't what goes on in their head when they feel like they've got a pattern? Um, I think it is. I mean, that army, like, kind of programmed this way. Like, we, we, we kind of, you know, trust that that pattern is, you know, the outcome. Or am I just being... It's happened enough times and we just assume it's going to happen the same way in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, kind of like the, oh, I forgot that, it, I think, hot shot, some, oh, it was something, but I'll... I'll switch it up later. It's just like people think that something because something happens often and often, it's gonna happen again. And, but the more it happens, the more trust they ha have in that happening. Hmm. I don't even know what what. I'm confused about what he's saying. See, here's the here. thing. It seems like Wittgenstein is definitely not saying anything, like, heavy and concrete in 325. Um, I just wanted to hear what other people had to think about um, how they feel about the description of induction as... or about the feeling of uh, getting something as an inductive process. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to read back because I'm like... I'm not even sure what he's saying. Like, uh, or is the previous experience the cause of my certainty, not its reason? 
what is the difference between the cause and reason? Like, I can imagine, like, the re a reason, if, it, the re if it's a reason for your um, experience, that means it's... What, what is the difference there? What is he... But isn't that more related to the idea of noumena? What is that? Oh, uh, so... I learned about this recently, so... It uh, has to do with chance, right? So there's a separation between phenomena and noumena, and uh, Kant's idea is that uh, noumena is like the black box. Like, we can't see what's in it. There's something in it, stuff happens, and then phenomena is what we experience. For example, if you look at the universe, we experience the universe, but we have no idea what the universe entails, if that makes sense. So we yeah. experience fire, we know the phenomenon of fire, we know you it burns, you touch it, it burns, but you don't know why it burns you. Yeah. That that makes sense. Pretty civil. Yeah. So, so like, uh, in that case, the phenomenon of fire would be the feeling of the burning, but uh, the noumena would be the, I guess, the energy put off by the fire itself. No, the noumena... The understanding of the science behind it? The noumena is unreachable in Kant's theory. You don't reach it. The phenomena is our understanding of the noumena, but it will never reach the noumena, if that makes sense. I mean, yeah, if you want to be a fucking... If you want to just go, like, full, you have to prove things in order to say them, I guess. No, I'll like, be, like, a little fucking... Like... You can't ever prove something 100%. That's all the idea is, yeah. I don't fully yeah. agree with well, Tom's theory, but I feel like yeah, it's no. useful for this explanation, and it's quite relevant to this passage. I, I do think I do think that, um, I don't know, I guess this is a little bit off topic. I definitely do think that it's true that you can't prove something unconditionally, right? Like, every every proof has to have qualifiers with it. A is A. Nope. In fact, you actually have to take that as an axiom for some things to work. Yeah, you do. Wow, it seems... It seems you're right, it, it seems, seems oddly odd. difficult to yeah. find, like, a digital copy of, of, of any of this shit. Wow. What are you I talking mean, about? I mean, a good digital copy, not just, like, a crappy scan like what we were using. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, you could probably go find a, uh, like, an image scan and use use um what's it called uh just you is is it oem yeah i'll just take a picture OCR. i'll take a picture of my book pages and then you can also get the joy of having all of my notes as well i think that would make it even even I'm, easier i'm pretty sure yeah, OCR would would improve work it. on a heavily notated page um what i was going to say is you could probably use um yeah, I, I would probably go with like uh, like Adobe's um, option. I forgot what it's called, but the the like their proper uh, whatever it's called uh, is pretty yeah. good at scanning those, and you could just scan that and then like convert it to te to like a text file or something to get like a proper digital copy for that. It'd be a lot of. Work. You actually, yeah. you actually uh, want me to do that? Uh, not with your not with your heavily notated version, no. Yeah. Yeah, the, there is a uh, there are programs that are designed to as accurately as possible turn. Just, I wish the publisher would just publish a digital copy. They probably have the digital text. Eh, oh well. Yeah. They don't. They don't, really have, they don't really have an incentive to, no, do they? Yeah, there's probably not a massive. There's probably not a massive. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not old enough. Either. Uh, let, let's improve the quality of life for the people that are going to not buy our thing for the most part. Yeah. Yeah. Then again, who the fuck actually buys it from the publisher? You can probably find it at a bookstore like a hundred percent of the time. Yeah. Actually, well, is investigation? Wait, no. When was philosophical no, really? investigation again? Uh, I mean, investigation is just something you'd probably like, like. I mean, it won't be at a normal bookstore. No, at the very least, you'd usually be able to find it at the library, right? Yeah. 
I'm not sure. Depends on how really? Much the library I think you could find it at like books. It, it wasn't at mine, and by mine I mean like the entire systems of library in my city. Oh damn! I'm surprised. It's not like a know. massive city I live in, but it's like substantial enough to be on like your basic maps. You know? I don't know. Um, I have to wonder if maybe philosophy is a little bit not as common to be into as I thought it was. Oh, yeah, it's pretty out um, there. For- I mean, especially my... like Wittgenstein. Like you, you get to like the existentialists, like Sartre and Camus, and like then it's a little easier to read, and so more people are interested, and it's more like basic bitch philosophy. Yeah. You can usually find that um, in like Barnes and Noble or whatever. Mm. Um, but Wittgenstein, you can actually find the Tractatus. Like I got. I guess the biggest of- issue with with this shit is that uh, is that somehow, of course. Uh, philosophical investigations is like still copyrighted because it was written after Mickey Mouse was created, and thus you think I actually care about copyright, bro? Oh yeah. Well, it just means that that's probably the reason why it's so hard to find good digital copies or anything like that because it's yeah. not old enough to be like in the public domain. Oh well. Uh, well how long has it been there. since he died? Hmm. Uh, uh, it, so many years it, 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 it doesn't died. really matter. It, like, like in any well, it does. reasonable. It, it, well, what I'm saying is, in any non-dumb system, it shouldn't matter, right? Like fucking. He it, died it in 1951. Oh, 1951. That means it'll enter the public domain in one year, right? I don't know. It's like 70 years after I have the no death idea. of the author. It should it's be like the author. That. Um, or, or, well, remember. Walt Disney died 1966. What did you say it was, 1951? Uh, it won't, it won't work the same way for characters. Also, it won't work the same way for Mickey Mouse. Hmm? It won't work why, the same way why for Mickey Why are Mouse. you trying to make Mickey Mouse Rule 34 without getting copyrighted? No, yes. we're trying yeah. to find out um, the legality the, of The, of the problem is that I'm Disney's going to throw a hissy fit. Disney's going to throw a hissy fit and lawmakers are going to fucking capitulate. No, you can't do that. You can't yeah, do that. Yeah, what I'm no, saying is that it's the same copyright law that applies to both, so I'm wondering, like... There will probably be a um, little bit... Okay. In between, you said it was 1951 that he died? So there'll probably be, like, a solid, like... There's probably going to be, like, a, a like five or ten year gap in between when uh, when... Philosophical uh, investigations uh, is public domain, uh, and a, when uh, and when uh, Disney throws a fit. As a general rule, copyright for works published after January first, nineteen seventy-eight, lasts for the life of the author plus seventy years. Uh, all works published year. in the United States before nineteen twenty-three are now in the public domain. Uh, books published between nineteen twenty-two and nineteen seventy-eight are copyrighted from 95 years from the date of publication. Okay, so... Okay, 95 years from the date of publication. Um, uh, uh, I'm also reading this off of a site called LegalBeagle.com, and it's like, it's like, <laughs> like a dog. It's like, it's like a beagle. Isn't that so literally the name of the... Oh, one, legal e- I, um, I, I, I'd like you to take it with exactly one grain of salt. 1953. So, oh. if that's the case, what, what was it, 95 years, you said? Yeah, so it's going to be a while. It's going to be probably yeah. within most of our lifetimes. But yeah, yeah, within yeah. our lifetimes, but not for a while <laughs> yet. Yeah, we still 2048. Have like, we, we have most of three decades to live through before that happens. Hey! Hopefully, but, uh, hopefully by I'm that good. point, copyright law won't be complete garbage. The philosophical investigations <laughs> are going to come into the public domain on a power of two. That's nice. Yeah, I do like that at least. Yeah. I just wish it was a lower power of two. <laughs> yeah, I wish it. Could, I wish it would have come into the public domain in ten twenty four. Yeah, would exactly. Have that would have been. Yeah. No, but really, I do. I do fucking hate modern copyright law. I. I just want. Intellectual property is cringe. It's yeah. crap. Yeah. Um, you can't. Yeah. Only I can't it. Cringe it's copyright cringe. law. Yeah. Intellectual property is garbage, and it's one of the biggest problems with capitalism. I do think there is... And the cause um, of the others. Also, I don't, I, I don't think intellectual property is a fundamental problem of capitalism, but I think... No, I think it causes a lot of fundamental, fundamental, fundamental problems, problems of capitalism. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think it's an expression of the fundamental problem of capitalism. I think it's caused by the fundamental power hold on to it. Sorry, who yeah, exactly. what were you saying? I couldn't catch it. 
I I'm disagreeing with you on it being a fundamental problem. I think it's a major problem, but I don't think it's. Yeah. I think it's caused by other problems. Yeah, and you, it, causes, you know it that... causes a lot of problems with modern like incarnations of capitalism. But it's not like a fundamental. It's not. You it know, doesn't, it's not necessary to the concept of of capitalism. Yes. Is my is my mic like really fuzzy or something? Because I was no. specifically saying that it wasn't a fundamental problem. Oh, yeah, it's cutting out for me occasionally. Oh, okay. You yeah, know, you've been fine, yeah. Raymond. You are a bit fuzzy, actually, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay. I mean, my mic has always been shit. So. Yeah. Yeah. What, what I was trying mic? to say is buy a better mic, bitch. What I was trying to say is that it's not a fundamental problem, and it's an expression of how people hold on to power once they have it, no matter what it is. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. God. Honestly, I would be entirely happy if intellectual property disappeared, like as a legal concept. I think it, I think I, that would be a I better think reality. Be great. Yeah. I mean, I think all legal concepts would disappear, uh, but in particular, I, don't, <laughs> I, I do think. I do think that there is some value to the idea. That if you I do. create something, then you should be able to reap some benefits from it. I mean, you can reap benefit from it without owning it, quote unquote. Uh, it's really hard, to be fair. Here, here's my here, here's my argument: is that like I'm a, I'm looking to be a writer. I want to write books. I think I I think it would be pretty skeevy. I think it would be pretty skeevy. If I publish the novel, and then six months later, yeah. someone publishes smut using my characters, and they get money from it, and I don't get the cut. See, I, the thing, here's the See, thing. I, I think that's think fine. It's skeevy to publish using your characters, but I do think it would be skeevy to publish just your book again. <laughs> well, it's not like intellectual property. Like, it's not like once something is in the public domain, like it's it's not like recognized who made it or anything. Like, no. recognition still exists. It would just be, like, uh, whether or not, yeah, it would just be, like, publishing it or something. I, I think, realistically, I think maybe, like... Well, I don't know. Here's the thing. If you don't have the ability to... Con if, as the author or something, you don't have the ability to control the distribution of copies of that thing, I don't even see how you would protect um, your legal right to have your name on it. I feel like intellectual property laws. Um, guys, at my least mom the just called me. And the First and guys, my mom just called me and she was like, "Oh, do you want me to bring you some cookies?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, that sounds great." And then she was like, "Okay, but is it okay? I can't come over immediately." And I was like, "That's totally fine." And she was like, "Since I'm gonna be not coming over for a while, do you want me to also bring you some food? Like, I might cook some dinner, and you want vegetables and rice?" And I was like, "Yes." That's real nice. So, nice. It's nice. so Your mom nice. sounds chill. She's, oh, she's not chill. She's not chill. <laughs> but she's lovely. She's, she loves her. She's psycho. She's actually oh, she's not psycho. chill. No. Oh, Guys, I have, to, I have to be honest here. I, I went, I'm just watching um, <laughs> Tree's stream. They're playing chess. And the guy <laughs> who was playing chess was really, like, didn't know how to play chess. <laughs> Nice. I mean, Look I was watching Tree stream night. last night, and the girl who was playing chess with with Tree really didn't know how to play chess very well. Is that girl me? Yes. Yeah. But this yeah. person actually. Oh, he's so good. Is he scholar mating this guy? No way. No way, dude. What? Oh no. So we got guys way off just topic. going over there to watch his stream. Is he of... going for it, dude? Going for what? I thought he was going for a scholar's mate for a second, dude. It looks like it. What's that? It's some nerd shit. Oh, okay. Um, yo, know, so do we do we have anything more we want to discuss on the text, or are we pretty much done then, I guess? Because, like, we've been off the list too solid. I'm Super brain dead. Yeah. Like I can't yeah. think. Okay. How about I just, like, I've, I've noticed that any possible conversation, through. any possible conversation, has been superseded by freedom just being like, "What?" I'm sorry. I'm like really. My brain is not. Functioning. Okay. How about we do our post our post discussion discussion now? Then we. I agree. Okay. Planning right. for the next meeting and uh, uh, stuff related to releasing the recording. Fucking kidding me again. Fuck you. What? What? What?
It's just what? my audio thing. Oh. Oh. Okay, but yeah, so in terms of releasing recordings and in terms of uh, scheduling for next meeting, let's go with scheduling for next meeting first. Uh, how was 2 p.m. for everyone? Uh, did that work good this week? That's good. Have good. Problems? Uh, I mean, that's just Hi. the time we meet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think and, and having 2 p.m. As, a, as like a consistent start is a good thing. I, I, I think like that's it. a good thing. Yeah, um, the thing we have to good. think about is how far we want to read. Yes. Um, uh, so let me look up at that syllabus again. Hmm. Uh, just to find what, that's how I've been choosing. That seems like a good way of choosing. Yeah, I think it's because like, it's like gives good cutoffs. Okay, so I think next I want to want to read till. Um, let me see how long this is. Five forty-six. Yeah, it's like forty pages, I think. Oh, not even. No, no, no. It's not even. It's only thirty some pages. Yeah, we'll read to five forty-six. How does that sound? All right. Uh, Sounds good. I think oh, we could wait, wait. probably read significantly farther, like five eighty or so. Huh? We could read to like five eighty or five ninety if we wanted. Um, but let's not. No? I mean, do you... I don't know, it's just we've been really consistently reading, like, 40 pages, so... Well, no, because what I'm going for is I'm going for, based on where the the syllabus says to cut off, because I feel like it's not just about the length, but maybe, like... And I think it's been true that the cutoffs of this have, like, made sense. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't realize that, uh... I didn't realize that you had a thing that told you good cutoff points. Yeah, I'm looking at... I mean, we could go... The other one is 610. It's a little bit longer. Oh, 610... 610 actually only goes three pages over. Sorry, six pages over. Yeah, but I mean, we don't need to do that because I feel like, I mean, it's up to you guys what you want to do. It could be either five, uh, five, um... Yeah, we could read 45 pages or we could read, uh, what is the other one? Um, for me it's like 34 pages. It may not be exactly that for you. Um... Like 45 or 39? No, or 34. Hmm. I mean, let's do the shorter reading, just because we have people who still need to play catch-up. All right, all right, that's fair. So we'll go to 546, okay. 546. Um, So let me type that out in the reading schedule. Okay. Uh, Oh, and I moved the VC discussion log to the voice category. And All right. So the only and made it so that only Richard Halley's can post there because it's not for talking about the voice discussion; it's just for posting it. What's the date next Sunday? It's August. What? I can't believe it's already fucking August. <laughs> oh, I know. Jesus, oh, really? Oh, I know. Fucking hell! Yeah, the second. My I'm birthday is next month. I'm gonna fail. You know what? Uh, I'll be- does anybody else feel like the two months that feel least like they should come one after the other are July and August? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they feel different. Jump. It goes to like August. That's like August is like school, like the fall, dude. And then July is just carefree, dude. Schedule. I probably had a month between July and August to like make it more smooth, the transition, you know? Yeah. I wish you could just have it set so that, like, the pinned a message message would, like, automatically delete itself, because that, that shit's on the way. Sorry, it clogs oh. up, it well, clogs up like, mean... announcement chats. Oh, they yeah, it, I mean, oh. I, and, I, and I usually do when I have power. I just, like, I, I just wish there was, like, an option to just not have them show up. Oh, anymore. I see. Well, yeah. I thank you. It's actually going to be quite nice to have a busybody as a mod. Great. Probably Before will, yeah. Yeah. I was the one deleting the pins, dude. Um, okay, so we have that figured out. Speaking of um, do we want to think about for next week? I, I mean, granted, I'll probably be in a better headspace um, because I won't be as exhausted and I don't have this exam tomorrow. That's sort of killing my brain. Um, hmm. Honestly, that's not even it. It's just I haven't... I'm just brain dead. But... Do we want to have any kind of coherent plan to maybe spice up the discussion to make it like, like, should we have something? I think we should do a debate again next week. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of fun. In my experience, a really good way to spice up a discussion is cayenne pepper. <laughs> That's very yeah. What if we just what all right. if we all just like eat something spicy right beforehand? So you know so what? Why don't we why don't we prepare all of us? We're gonna prepare for a debate on can there be a private language? Even if that's not what the next thing is talking about, or either that or um, uh, the beetle in the box thing. I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? Like even though hmm. that was not this reading, but now we have time to prepare for it. Right. Uh, but I mean, how, but teams are not decided <laughs> until then. So yeah, teams are undecided. So you have to be right. prepared to argue either side. Yeah. How are you supposed to argue Can against the... Uh, I mean, how are you supposed to be able to argue for a private language existing without it... Boring? I have arguments for it. Like, I was talking about this, but um, by the the feeling right, well, you get you in response to a, um, a, a particular piece of music. I mean, I, I don't know how you'd argue it against it, especially. You have to think about it. It might be difficult, but it's not impossible. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like, a private language, how... It's part of the text, um, but yes, a yeah, private, private language, language being is a private like a concept. Yeah. So yeah, a private language being a language only understandable by a single individual. Just to clarify your terms. Well, I mean, oh, oh, that so basically can like, be understandable, not like understandable. Yeah. It's important that you say can be understood. Yeah. But I've actually, uh, when you nice. when you catch up on the reading, you'll understand. About. You can also just look up the concepts, like, even if you yeah. don't read it, if you just... I'm pretty sure there's literally a Wikipedia page on the private language argument. Yeah. Um, nice. So, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll... Can someone else... I don't want to type again. Someone else want to type about the debate thing? I don't feel like it. In the... Um, uh, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, should I put that in an announcement? I can. Schedule? Do it in schedule. No. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, my grave. You haven't... You haven't... I don't trust you yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that's the point. I, I, was, I was just making... I know. Kind of but I would like to get to the point where you could be a mod. If you come regularly and eventually there will be some point where I'll be like, I don't feel like doing this and you'll be like, I can do it and then I'll make you mod. And that's, yeah. that's the ideal. The ideal Basically is the... that every, everybody want, I want everybody to be a mod. Yeah. The uh, the, the progression is from, from Dagny Taggart to John Galt. Well, oh, there's other nice. stuff. So it's like tiered? So... Oh, or like, ideally that's like the progress... Like, ideally you will... Like, obviously, everyone will go to Dagley Taggart at some point because that's just our regular members, like people who have actually been in VC uh, for those discussions. And then at some point, hopefully, everyone who has been in Dagley Taggart will eventually become John Galt. Yeah, exactly. There will be no, there will be no class distinction. It will just, we will all have power. Yeah, of course. Uh, be, for or the, be kicked out because be we can't new. be trusted. The people who are new are obviously of lower class and are inherently inferior. <laughs> of course, yeah. Obviously. Well, the nice thing is, everybody. Well, I want everybody to be mod, but I still, I still own the server, so I'm still like basically king. Like I'm king. Yeah. Exactly. Like even though we're all yeah. in charge, I still have the final say, which is great. I love that. Can I have a different like name? Because I really don't like Ayn Rand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but Good unfortunately, line, uh, unfortunately, the entire <laughs> server is Ayn Rand themed, so you can fuck off. Yeah, it's literally just like a fucking prom theme. Okay, yeah. get over. I don't even, I don't I even like in... Ayn Rand, but it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. I am in the same boat as you, but I, I cannot contest. Look, look guys, I, not, I was just uh, kidding. Okay, okay. I love <laughs> Ayn Rand. I, I like how love you say Ayn, 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 like Ayn Rand. Anyone who says Ayn Rand, Rand needs to be kicked out of the server immediately, I understand. <laughs> Are you Ayn Rand is anal, dude. What? Should I say Ayn Rand? <laughs> it's Ayn Rand, yeah. Or okay, Ayn okay Rand. but, like, Guys, really, like, we want me to be... talk in uh, on my native accent. This is so dumb. Um, guys, we should read... We should, uh, we should read uh, an Ayn Rand book, though, just for fun. Like... It would be fun. Uh, honestly, we'd have what's to probably that short read. One? Yeah, yeah, Anthem. I mean, it's really short. But the thing is, what's fun is Fountainhead is fun because there's a really graphic rape scene. It's consensual. It's consensual. Rape scene. It's consensual. Something doesn't add up here. 
<laughs> what, is okay. what, um, what is a consensual rape scene? Basically, it's speaking. Ayn sorry, Rand. speaking of consensual rape, um, pr- the Metamorphosis of Prime Intellect is really good. And we should definitely read it at some point. What the fuck? If we're going for like philosophical that's relevance, not, that's um, not how you should sell a reading. If we're talking, <laughs> I know, right? Uh, if we're talking about like uh, philosophically relevant uh, uh, fiction, that is. Fiction, yeah. I mean, I think it would be fun to have a fiction thing. As yeah, well. or maybe we should, like we should do like a fiction. Up. We should do like a fiction month where we read like relatively short fiction. Uh, yeah, issue. I think that would be nice. Ooh. Yeah, I, I I have a few short stories I can throw into that. Actually, you know what? You know what? That's what we can put in between, uh, in between Wittgenstein and uh, and. Uh, that might Hegel. not be a bad idea. Yeah, we can have our we can have our fiction month. Yeah, it's also a good read, way oh, of yeah, getting people into read, it too. We have like, to read the be- Metamorphosis by Kafka. That's yes. such a good one. Oh hell yeah, okay, Kafka yeah, is a I'm good one. Yeah. 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 Let's just we can put that in. We can put that in central planning. Actually, everyone, put your your recommend your fiction recommend your short fiction recommendations in central planning. Um, and um. We also have, though, we can't forget, uh, we have to plan, someone has to get the movie for the Wittgenstein movie st- streaming that we're going to watch. We're going to have a movie night after we finish Wittgenstein as a celebration of working through our first big text. Um, nice. So somebody has to work on that because I can't get, I can't stream my screen, my computer from Discord. Like, it doesn't, I, it just, my computer can't handle it for some reason. I don't know why. Um, so somebody else is going to need to do I can stream that. basically yeah. anything but Netflix for some reason. Yeah, so um, it's not on Netflix anyways, so. Oh, wait, I lied. I can't stream anything because my computer broke. I don't Surprisingly, know. Surprisingly, like, a lot of stuff are on Voodoo. Oh, weird. Oh, I don't know <laughs> what's a Voodoo. I thought you said Hulu. No, oh, v- Voodoo is, like, this streaming platform. I see. Well, I don't know. But anyways, that's just, we just have to think about that because we're, we're going to, we're nearing the end of the book, you know. Um, okay, and so now... <laughs> business um again the the uh recordings of our meeting um we want to upload them because it just sounds fun um and i guess were we thinking the best way to do how hey because you're the one who is really looking yeah that. i am i am the true richard halley um yeah uh yeah, Raymond. I actually, I think I need to remove that role. <laughs> I just haven't done shit. Oh yeah, you're right. I haven't. Actually, I yeah, you haven't been recording, it. have you? It's gone. It's gone. Hmm. No. Oh, and the, well, one I do, recording, I... the one recording you yeah, made. No, it sucked. <laughs> and that's, that's why I didn't want to record anymore because I'm worried it's gonna be shit again. Actually, speaking well, of which, uh, speaking of which, freedom, you now have the Richard Halley role because you have been recording. Fair Congratulations. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, wow, well, hate nine. You really are a busybody. Damn, I very much am. I am right. I am um, absurdly busybody. Yeah, it's great. I um, don't know if I might regret this. <laughs> That's the fun of it. Yeah. That's the fun. Like I, I need to practice what yeah. I preach. I'll try and avoid being like super overactive in terms that like might actually be contentious at any point, but like. With stuff that's dude, obvious no. or already agreed upon, I just... I think, I know, yeah. you're fine, dude. I'm just... I'm it's just... funny, too, because I'm, like, super inactive in, like, regular text chat. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. It's all that matters. This is for, like, this... The voice chats are the main purpose, like, of right. this server. Like, this is the reading club. Like, we're reading. And I'm so happy we're actually reading. Like, this is so fun. Like, I can't believe we've been going for a while now. It's been yeah, almost two when, months. Yeah, when was our yeah. first one? Yeah, it's been a while. Okay. We, had, we had, like, that yeah, really yeah. Underwhelming, last, underwhelming meeting last week, and then people actually got back to fucking reading. Well, I was gone, like, last week and the week before, so. I mean, not that I'm the only one, but, like, I assume, I, I know that that's, like, yeah, we were missing Yeah, some our first reading, we, we met, uh, I think, I guess on... May 31st was our first meeting, so it's almost been two months. That's crazy. That is crazy. Nice. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us, guys. Yeah. So, so about the uh, uploading our recording. <laughs> yeah, so we need... So I'm probably going to just, like, make a YouTube channel and, like, a... Uh, uh, what was... There was a site that was good for, like, an actually decent free option for podcast uh, posting... Um, like as an RSS free feed, 
Uh, so our primary uh, thing we need to go over over then is if anyone has a problem with that and uh, 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 naming and uh, and visuals. Oh, and hey, also, I, if you could give me like the YouTube channel, like if you could give me access to it. So yeah, I, I think there's a way of making people admins, or if not, I'll just like make a, a separate account for it that uh, that yeah. uh, that uh, the John Galt will have access to. Okay, that would be great. Yeah. Um, this is like, despite this being like a completely, um, a completely Ayn Rand themed, uh, group, it's, it's also like internally structured, like really, um, what's the term, uh, collectively. I, <laughs> we're like I super, we're like super collectively controlled, but, uh, but it's Ayn I Rand themed. An well, I think that, egoist I, with capitalist characteristics, right? I, I, I think that's <laughs> I think that's probably because like the fundamental organization of society on a small scale usually tends towards fucking communist kind of shit. That's but, like, like I think even capitalists will generally agree with that if they actually understand what communism is. Like that the question sense. The, the question of whether capitalism or communism is preferable is mostly one of whether, or, or like, what sort of incentive structures you need to keep society from falling apart on a large scale. But I, but I think for the most part, right, um, when people interact closely with each other, you can mostly just have them not be dicks to each other, and that works pretty well. Fair. At least when they're doing something that they all want to do, right? Like, that doesn't work if they're all close to each other in, like, a workplace environment, because there's a bunch of, like, external incentives. And stuff. Right, but, like, yeah. But, like, when they're not, yeah, when they're not, like, being uh, externally directed, yeah, people tend to, or even sometimes when they are, yeah, people yeah. tend to go pretty, into pretty communist, like, ways of, uh, yeah. Well, anyways, so, generally speaking, um, oh, yeah, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just saying, anyways, we, we should, we could think of, um, a name. I mean, I, I don't even know if if we can yeah. even think of it right now, but it's something where like everybody maybe think try and think of one this next week, and we can yeah. post them and maybe discuss it. Because I, unless anybody has an idea, any ideas now, like hey, I don't know, do you have any ideas right now? Me? No, I don't, I have nothing. Sorry, well, can, you, can you try to restate the question? I don't uh, think I got it. Uh, naming for the uh, for the podcast and YouTube release of the uh, of the recording yeah, okay, you got it. Um. And then mm. if we and then we can have visuals based on that. And so uh, visuals mm -hmm. should just be pictures of Wittgenstein looking hot. Well, they yeah. could be just anything. Is there Wittgenstein Honestly, fan art? Because we need you know, that. That would actually be really uh, cool if anybody is an artist. Like that would actually be really cool if you wanted to make something. Like, yeah, we could like. Uh, Please rule oh, thirty four of Ludwig. No. 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 We we could just have it be we could just have it be uh, naked Nietzsche. Naked Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Uh, is everybody here aware of that? No. Um, I I've don't know. I don't remember who the three Nietzsche philosophers naked. were, but um, a friend uh, has a friend showed me this image a long time ago. Actually, the friend who got there, me. You know what? There a is a lot, lot of there is a lot of anime Wittgenstein out there. No, no, okay, first of all, obviously, he's the most animeable character. Um, That's true. You know, honestly, I wouldn't true. mind having a Wittgenstein theme. Because I love Wittgenstein. And you know what? Yeah. We do, we have been going back to Wittgenstein even when we're not I, talking about it. I, so, yeah, like, I, I, feel, I feel like we're necessarily good. Like, because everyone here will have eventually read it, right? Um, I mean, that's also why we went to Wittgenstein, right? We were talking about Kant and we kept going to Wittgenstein. <laughs> yeah, even, after, even before we did. Yeah. You know. Yeah, okay, um, so, um, basically, uh, j just in case everyone here is not aware, um, there exists an image of, like, uh, Wittgenstein, not Wittgenstein, my words aren't working, uh, Nietzsche. Nietzsche and two other philosophers of his day, fucking naked, uh, not, not in a non-sexual context either, um, fucking, I, I, nobody ever gave me context. Are they uh, fucking? Context. No. Uh, the, but, but the, it, it's like two guys and one woman, um, Nietzsche and a uh, male philosopher and one female philosopher, and like, uh, fucking, it's, on the one hand they're not having sex, but on the other hand, the two guys are hard, so I... I oh wait, what is this? Sorry? What is this I, I, I don't know. I don't know. 
what it Nietzsche is. Nietzsche porn. Nobody ever gave me contents. All okay. I know is that... Nietzsche uh, has dudes on the internet. Nietzsche and two other philosophers, uh, back in their day, decided to get together and take some pornographic, some very soft pornographic images. <laughs> this is real. I, I though. Want that's to be that's aware beautiful, of and I love it. But him, I find it okay. How, okay, hey, I've got to I've got to specify Nietzsche. How is Nietzsche spelled again? Fuck you. Uh, N I E T. Right, and what I N I E T. Uh, wait, now I can't. S C H E. S C H. No, I'll, I know there's a it. there's a Z in there. It's yeah. it's this. I, I typed in voice text. Wait, I can't find. Why is there an anime girl here? I can't okay, yeah, they're found it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy to find, so I don't think you'll need my help. Can you put a link? Uh, An FFW it's... channel for it. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, Imagine if Lost so Guys, is well there an well. anime? Is there an anime with, like, a bunch of major philosophers, but instead of, like, being actually them, they're, like, 14-year-old anime anime girls? Oh, yep, yeah, here it is. Oh, my God. You're t you're l actively looking for Lolly, oh. uh... Or, <laughs> Has anybody seen that anime? I forget what it's called right now, but it's, it's like, with all the, um, countries or people. Oh, Italia. Like... Italia! Yes! Have right. you seen that? Wait, what is it? Italian? When I was in high school, my uh, sister of, was really. When I was in it. high school, a friend of mine uh, dressed as Germany for Halloween. Oh my! I just uh, love like which so there's like the is one... literally a Nazi. So yeah, there's there's <laughs> there's the one where it's like the the relationship between the UK and America and it's like cleaning out the closet and it's like that like America is going in the closet and seeing like all of the like memories of when like the England was like there like you know taking care of them and it's just it's just it was just so funny it was I love that 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 show was so funny it was it was a good time Seems and then like it, and then there was like with um. Germany trying to train Japan and Italy in World War Two, <laughs> and like Italy was just really lazy. I don't know. It's just so funny. It's so funny. It's not good when I describe it, but it's okay. So okay, Wittgenstein themed. Oh, that that pick of Wittgenstein. He's so spicy. He's like so like Camus is like hot, right? Camus is sexy. Right, but Wittgenstein, he's like, he looks, it's different. It's a different energy. It's a completely different energy. Like, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't, uh, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I'd want to. You wouldn't want look, what? He doesn't look like, he looks very unhappy. He doesn't hmm. look like he'd be very considerate of my feelings. Whereas Camus would actually, I would at least like, like, you know, he's a ladies' man, and, like, but he would know, you know, how to, like, treat a lady, right? Wittgenstein looks like he has no idea how to treat a lady. He looks like he'd just be mean. Ed Mu mm -hmm. is basically... Have you heard of the playboy called oh. Porfirio Rubirosa? No. No. Dude, he's, like... He, he was the original... He was, like, the... Like, OG... The OG, like, you know, playboy. And he was, like, top-notch playboy. I'm talking Marilyn Manson... The third, and he, d he divorced at the time the third w richest woman in the world and got Damn. 50 million dollars, which today is like worth like 300 million. Oh, I swear to God. What do you read about him? You think about like, you know, stuff you hear in stories. But yeah, I feel like Pooh is definitely like that. Especially when he, and who's a fucking all guy. those pictures of him just smoking. Pretty hot, uh, not gonna lie. He is. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so we need oh, the new Vienna Circle. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. What is it? What Bruh. the fuck is this? 
<laughs> That's naked Nietzsche. Is that what is that? Where is that from? I don't know though. Eighteen hundred. I, I told you I couldn't find the. Is contact. that actually? That yes. can't be real. That's a picture. Wait, that where can't is be it? real. Uh, That's not a real picture. That's like Photoshop, right? It's a real picture. No, no, no. That's Photoshop. That has I, to I, be. I, that's what I thought when I saw it. When I saw it too. Nietzsche's much bigger than the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could be a grower. That's pretty hot. What the <laughs> fuck is going on? What the fuck is... This can't be real. Is this real? Where the hell did you put it? Uh, There's in, a lot of, like... In voice text. Water, uh, like, oh like, like, the more God. I'm looking at this, the more <laughs> I'm perplexed. Warning, NSFW, like, seriously. If, like, if you're underage, I'm just trusting you, okay? Seriously. <laughs> is anybody here underage? I don't know. Good question. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about being responsible responsible about it that much. I'm just covering. I don't care that. at all. I literally don't care at all. Like, but I, I feel just like Soda serious. might be about. I don't think I'm anybody 15. who's like I was the like, only one who's underage here. I think Soda Green oh, yeah. said they're turning eighteen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, is my oh god. Uh, yeah, I'm, t- I'm, I, I'm a week thing. early. I'm in like four months, so you guys are cool. Hmm. I don't care. Uh. uh uh, we're just, let's it. just say we're 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 just trusting uh, you microwave and soda dream to uh, to not look at the picture of Wittgenstein naked. It's okay if you do. We won't tell. Oh yeah, I, no one's I, naked. I what is wrong with the okay. naked body? What is wrong with the images of the human body? For the purposes uh, of the Discord TOS, we are going to say I mean, we're, we're trusting uh, you not to. Nietzsche's clearly pretty turned on by this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> It's pretty great. I don't Dude, get it. Why did his, they take the look picture? At what was going look at his butt. Mind? Look at his butt. It's like Damn. a butt. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? It's like a butt. No, it's but like... he is loose. Alright, I'm gonna reverse image search this and see if any context comes up. Yeah, I... please do. Yeah. Okay. But, but it I does, feel like this it, is a it thing is like should... a flat butt. This should exist for every philosopher. Yeah, absolutely. That's true. Imagine if every famous human was required to, like, record themselves naked just to, like, remind everybody throughout history that, like, these are just fucking people. What is your... That would be pretty cool. That would actually be... You know, when you think about it, it's like, eh, what the heck? But if you think about it long, that's like, yeah, it's actually pretty cool, you know? I mean, I'm biased. There are some people who I do not want to see naked. Yeah, fair, but you would still want to know that there's a picture of them naked available. Yeah. Well, I mean, more, li- more like if look, it was a nude. Privacy is slowly. Like, I mean, guys, I privacy is slowly thing. dying. Eventually, this cool. will be a thing. Anyways, okay, so I I have things like I need to study and stuff, and like I Oof. my brain is dead. Right, Although, uh, honestly, you know, I'm gonna be honest. I'm probably not gonna study. I'm probably gonna just stick around more. Right. But my brain is dead. I don't want right. to be. Uh, oh, so, so, but uh, are we going to? Do we have any ideas for the name? Are we just going to come up with it next week? Do we even want to just choose something? Oh, I'll also, uh, really I'll care? also. Uh, should I put in a separate channel or or leave it or put it also in central planning? Uh, ideas for uh, for naming for the uh, the podcast release. I don't care. I'll just do whatever you think is uh, best. Dag, need tagger. Also, dude, yeah, I just, dude, I just beat Tree in chess. Let's go. He just got <laughs> roasted on stream, dude. Nice. Oh, you're nice. playing him? <laughs> yeah, I just did. Okay, okay, here's some context. Uh, Lou Andrea Salome, uh, the woman in this picture, was a Russian born psychoanalyst and well traveled author, narrator, and esso- essayist. Oh, was that the one he was in love with? Uh, so here's, here's some context. Uh, Rie and Nietzsche in later life. So Salome's mother took her to Rome when Salome was 21. At a literary salon in the city, Salome, it's probably Salome or something, became acquainted with the author Paul Rie. Rie, uh, Rie proposed to her, but she instead suggested that they live, to, they live and study together as brother and sister. Oh, that's a big goof. Uh, oh. Along with another man for company. That's a big goof. Um, and thereby establish an academic commune. Rie accepted the idea and suggested that they be joined by his friend Friedrich Nietzsche, 
the two met Nietzsche in Rome in April 1882, and Nietzsche is believed to have instantly fallen in love with Salome, um, as Rie had done earlier. Uh, Nietzsche asked Rie to propose marriage to Sal- Salome, I, I don't know if I'm getting these names, which she rejected. Um, she had been interested in Nietzsche, Nietzsche as a friend, but not as a husband. Uh, Nietzsche nonetheless was content to join Rie and Salome touring through Switzerland. Okay, so basically it was like some really, really fucking weird, uh, the relationship was really complicated between them, but it seems like they were cool. <laughs> well, yeah, philosophers sometimes have weird relationships, like Beauvoir and Sartre. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, so, you guys so, know about uh, them? Like no. an open relationship. No. Yeah, they had an open relationship, and, like, it was... I don't know. <laughs> Sartre, like, even oh. though he had a lazy eye, he just had he just had so many ladies. Like, he was such a ladies' man. <laughs> he was ugly as fuck. <laughs> he was such a lady. Yeah, he um, yeah, have an, an eye that just kind of like does look like a gremlin. Yeah, he had a lazy eye. Uh, oh, something disposable doesn't know the context. Yeah. Okay. What are their? How how do we fucking spell their names? I can spell Wittgenstein, but that's it. Wait, well, whose names? The people in the photo. I don't know. Oh wait, no, it wasn't Wittgenstein. Anyway. It was Nietzsche. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he doesn't even know it's Nietzsche. Oh, that stash, though. Mm. <laughs> oh, why take a picture of that? <laughs> That's Nietzsche's fully erect dick. It's so why? bizarre. It's just uh, why? Why do the? What is the? Okay. <laughs> this is history. I mean, philosophers are weird, dude. Like, I. Philosophers are great. I love them. Yeah. I Just, mean, even... Yeah. I... My... Oh, God. Weird is good. <laughs> I, I love... I love the idea. A philosopher for freedom? No, it's not even... No, I just... I was thinking of my... Oh. I, I love the idea that fucking... Um... Uh. <laughs> I, I, love the idea that was, I, I, love, I love the idea that I love the idea that Salome was like, "All right, guys, I had a fun idea. Let's take a picture. Come on, it'll be really kinky." Um, and, and then Rie was like, "Oh my god, my erectile dysfunction is acting up." And then Nietzsche was like, "Just take the goddamn picture." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, hey, so did you record this? Of course, I am still recording. <laughs> um, this is going to be in the recording. Oh I hope you God. know. <laughs> this is going to be in the. I, this is the good first one to up, upload. If any, well, we're going to upload them all. We have all of them. Uh, search also, and, just and this, you I, know, had to, I had to investigate. Post that please, I have. I, I don't know why I was. Why I'm here. Honestly. What? Yeah, fair. No, I mean, ooh, three worlds collide is great. If, if any, if any legal entity like they. Invest into this. I don't know why I'm here, honestly. I mean, do you not want this to be saved? Do you not want it to be uploaded with your voice? Uh, no, no. I, I'm just saying. Hmm? Sorry, what were you saying? I, oh. I was I was zoned out. What were you saying? I don't know what he was saying. I thought he was saying he didn't want to be recorded for legal reasons, but I think that's not what. No, he was I'm I, I'm saying like just in case a legal. And like you know, someone investigates into this. I, I don't know. I'm here. That, that's oh, just oh. an excuse. That oh, okay. Yeah, just for the record, uh, microwave and uh, and Soda Dream have not seen the image and will not. Uh, and it's now going to be post and it's being deleted and put in a uh, in an SFW uh, channel. All right, just for legal purposes. Fuck legal purposes. For legal purposes. Keep and, the damn and, image and there. Un, 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 unspoiler it. Just let it be visible uh, for everybody. You can't actually. That's uh, that's an automatic thing from from Discord. Yeah. That's we could like lame. we can like. I mean, I'm not saying we should actually do that. I'm not saying we should actually do that. In, in, so fairness, in fairness, in fairness, this I've, I've, allows very low quality porn, but it doesn't allow this. I no, love actually, it doesn't. They they updated the rules to not allow that. Yeah, um, I actually ended up putting people were calling them out for not enforcing them consistently, which seems Wait, weird what? to me, right? Like, uh, okay, okay, let's talk philosophy, right? Let's talk philosophy. Hell yeah! If 
in, in in the hypothetical circumstance that there's something wrong with drawings, no matter what they are, I can't think of what would be wrong of drawings that aren't even of humans. Um, like like what what's with that? Like like wait, I don't think the person you, it. like I think any justification that you can give. I think any just almost any justification that you can give for posting for any given for furry porn? mere drawing being immoral is probably some variety of bullshit. Um, but I think that even with that justification, it would be almost impossible to come up with one that's reasonable, which also excludes drawings that aren't even of humans. Does that make sense? Hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I, I well yeah, lolly shit is really hard. It, it doesn't actually hurt anyone, so it is really hard to say that there's actually a good reason against it. Yeah, it's like a moral dumbfounding thing. By the way, it is illegal in Canada. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it's illegal in a lot of places, but not the U.S., because uh, the U.S. America. has actually really strong freedom of speech. First Amendment shall be protected. Yep, yep. Um, the Second Amendment. I remember the argument, um, the, the classic argument, is that freedoms, by all means, ought to be built into the structure of the Constitution. You know, it's funny, um, when you said freedom, I just... Reacted. Yeah, we immediately, th I immediately also thought of you. Nice. <laughs> See, that's, uh, it's working, it's working, guys. Nice. I, uh, I, uh, slowly your name, slowly the propagandizing will make your name synonymous with freedom. Exactly. And yes, uh, soon, soon we'll all be using... Uh, double speak, and we'll only have the one word for both ideas. Wait, what's what's that movie with Mel Gibson where he's a Scot, and, and at the end he yells out "Freedom" while he's dying? Uh, I forgot what? my name. Sorry, oh, is it your cat? Oh yeah, sorry, <laughs> oh, baby, it's a very faint baby. Actually, it's it might not be that. Baby. It's kind of loud. That's definitely a cat, though. Hmm. <laughs> I know. Uh, drawing is not immoral, uh, it's not human, because they're drawn. Uh, yeah, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I find that philosophy types pretty much universally agree on this, but, like... That's because philosophy types actually think about it. Although, actually, freedom might disagree. Oh, yeah. Uh, are, are, you, are you saying the only reason people would Whoa, disagree so with this is if they're not thinking? Yeah, actually, I think that's actually a pretty reasonable statement, right? I, like, I do very much well, do not, okay. even though I do personally. The only agree. other reason I think is well, no, you don't, you don't have to not. Dude, think about you, it. I think you can come up with a moral framework that justifies. Oh, something Dude, disposable. intuitive yeah, deontology yeah, I'm, I'm obviously here. is the easiest framework to say that this that could disagree with this. Yeah, like, like you can come up with a moral framework to disagree with anything. Dude, right, right. Freedom, and somebody could have a moral framework, framework that can't disagree with disagree with it, right? Um, also, and by the way, I um, I added uh, an adult option to the uh, roly poly. Uh, so no, uh, so the, the age is not a determining factor of maturity. Tm. Yeah, no, it's just it just uh, allows access to the NSFW yeah. channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's it's NSFW um, channel. Yeah, I uh, it's hate actually nine something. I gave hate nine to John Galbro, and I'm already regretting it. Uh, it's, it's also, it's by the way, um, it's also a part of Discord TOS that you're that you're not allowed to post shit. Yeah. That's, Who yeah. gives I don't a, care. It, it's interesting, right? It could um, get the server it, banned. Very, yeah, it could know, get the server banned, and I like I the server banned. You know system. what? But, like, at the same time... Wait, like, do, you know, do you know Anarch Humor's age? Because Anarch Humor can just see... An Honestly, I've broken some relatively serious Discord rules, but if you, if nobody reports anybody, nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, yep. it doesn't matter a lot. It's just like it's it doesn't matter. Recommended to post yeah. to post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. I'm not disagreeing there. with you on this decision. I'm just saying, like, yeah. eh. no, I, mean, I, I am, I am actually directly disagreeing with you on this. Oh, oh, you let me get the adult yeah. rule. Oh shit! What's your justification? The uh, I I. Don't see the utility in restricting. In restricting Wait. what? In out. restricting. Well, uh, I guess you can just give yourself the role. 
Oh, yeah, it's, I, yeah, it's not I, like I, you're I, like actually restricted. It's just like you gotta like yeah, actually I, see the. I went to get myself a sandwich and I came back to see the Ubermensch in a chat by Somniad. I I thought. I thought that you were disagreeing about drawn pornography, and I was like, oh, damn, I'm really interested in arguing this, but no. No, no, drawing, I don't give a shit. Yeah, they're just fucking, they're just pieces of paper or whatever. Wait, but did someone say I would disagree with something, and I'm curious what they thought I would disagree with? Yeah, oh. and then it turned out to be fucking trivial. No, what I was saying was that your uh, was that your moral framework is one which would allow, uh, which would entirely allow uh, disagreeing with, uh, uh, with, um... Uh, drawn lowly porn. Just drawn lowly porn. Yeah. And, uh, no, I'm gonna be honest though. People are just photons that hit my eyes, dude. <laughs> I mean, um, I, why would I no. disagree with? I didn't say you would. I said your moral They're philosophy photons, would allow it because you're the intuitive deontology. The, 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 the thing is, like uh, the the how do you say? It's like morally wrong, kind of. Like you, mm, I, I don't know how to explain. Damn what is... it. Why is it so hard to explain? Are, are you unhappy that it's not wrong? No, no, I'm. It's not that. It's like if we look well, at it from like left, okay. uh, um. if we look at it from like a society, like a status quo, you know, societal point of view, it's oh yeah, if we look at it wrong. From... It's obviously fucking despicable, but like yeah, yeah, but, yeah. But the thing is, like. Does. That's bad. It's it's not really that bad, and uh, why do, I can't please please edit that out, please just edit that out. <laughs> We're not gonna. It's unedited because that's too much work. Uh, yeah. Oh man. Well, okay. there there are two oh, there are two options. Yeah, don't worry about okay. it. Okay. It's getting posted in like in the VC logs, but for the podcast, I might I might get rid of the uh, planning sessions and everything afterwards, just because that's yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind taking the time to do that, that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just cutting out like from a certain point on, and we yeah, pretty much yeah. usually are like, yeah. okay, we're done discussion, let's do the planning session. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, that's fine. I mean, that's great. Like, it's just I'll basically you know, normalize the audio and uh, and delete the planning session, and that's the editing that'll yeah. be done. That's cool. Um, All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. I'll talk. Uh, to wait, 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 wait. I have something to post first in the NSFW chat. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Well, I'm I'm ending the recording now anyway. All right. Uh, okay. All right.